All right, well, I'm gonna take a suggestion from a friend. I'm just gonna freaking do runs. No practice at all. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see what happens, to be honest. See if anything in particular occurs. Because apparently freaking yesterday, uh, for some reason, I did one run. One practice run, and it freaking tied the world record. So I think that that just means that uh, I probably don't even need to practice. Like, it's just, it's just happening. I, I don't know. FCS for some reason is just working. Huh? I don't know how I've ha I don't know how I've seen it happen so much. It's not supposed to be consistent at all. I'm just lucky or something. I have no freaking idea. Yeah, let's get the runs and see what happens. I did just wake up pretty recently though, so I don't know how that's gonna affect everything. I guess we'll see. First I gotta deal with the most fun part of the game, which is Swamp of the game, which is Swamp Cliff, of course. Sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle, ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Oh yeah, also, this is the first stream where I'm using, uh... This version of the auto splitter, uh, basically, it takes the in-game timer and reflects that to in the game time for live split. That's about all you really need to know about it. So basically, it should be 100% accurate, or as accurate as UE2 is going to allow us to be. Because we're using like its internal variables or whatever at this point to, to do it. You can't get more accurate than that. Basically, like, if the game were to, like, lag, then you're gonna see that the uh, game time will also lag with it, though. Uh, that's basically the deal we got going on. Also, if I like to lose any time from like a save or something, then it's like it, that that time would be like removed from the game time. Like time in which the game actually is frozen, because most of the time I'm pretty sure that the game is not frozen during a save, but there is a tiny amount of time where that is the case. I'm almost certain. How did that work? I have no idea. That was one frame away from death. Huh? That was. Wow, that was terrible. Are you... Okay. Let's lose three seconds for fun. I mean, it doesn't really matter anyway, because my Shrek Swamp is already insane enough to the point where that doesn't even matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. I just lost all of it anyway. LOL. I recognize this user. I have to recognize that. Uh, is it mirror? If that it, it's I, it's either mirror version. I don't know which. Gosh dang it, did. One of you two. I can't read Russian well enough, so I can't like uh, all which it is. Mirror. All right. So what is Veshi's then? I just know it's like similar to your name, but I don't remember exactly what the difference is. I can I need to like try to memorize the patterns of your guys' names. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to do it since I'm not a Russian speaker. Or not even a speaker. I don't really need to be a speaker. I just need to be a reader to understand that. Though. I'm not that either. So, but not too bad. Though. I mean, I was able to recognize it enough. Though. I guess that's something. That'd be good though. Are, what? Bulgarian? What? Wait, the name? The name is Bulgarian. Huh? I did. Is that actually true? It might just like I think I might be lacking knowledge in terms of that or something. It's a W run. Yeah, the eighteen ten that I got that was that was the run and a half right there. What a great run, man. 
Also, this run in particular sucks. This is terrible. But, hey. I've lost, I just lost like, I think like 10 seconds to the freaking thing just deciding not to work. Why did the post just like not want to break? That was so weird. It rubbed up against it three times without it breaking once. Okay, that was awesome. Please even more time. Oh my god. Bro, I'm just gonna reset. Not at any point. I've already lost like 30 seconds or something. Feel like it. Rather just go back to doing the 30 FPS frame perfect at the beginning of the run. Find it interesting that you're working on a. Well, I don't know if a Hunt 1 remake is the name, but a Hunt 1 update of some sort. I'm gonna be interested in how that turns out. Although I assume since you're probably using the dev kit to make it, that'll mean uh, providing a download for it will be a little bit more difficult than usual, but it's possible. That is the name. Good Hunt 1. I love this. I love how that, that's just a 30 FPS frame perfect for no reason. That's my favorite part of that. And then right after those two 30 F FPS frame perfects, though, you have to do an another two 30 FPS frame perfects. Because why not? Of course I get that one, though. Why am I getting that one more often than the Carrot Trijack one? I guess the Carrot Trijack one's just not as intuitive. I feel like at some point I'm gonna be due for a Hunt 1 Gold. Like, my Hunt 1 Gold's insane. Like, how did I do it, man? How did I get a 40.64? That's gonna hit me. Awesome. Oh, actually, it's not because I, uh, I delayed my landing just barely enough. And then I lost time there. Awesome. What you wanna see? I'm so surprised I didn't fall off there. What? Yeah, this run should already be dead. It's not for some reason. I mean, I'm not even really going to complain, because the 1810 I got, I was like plus two off the world record for the entire run. Plus two consistently. And then FGM was just like barely better. That, that was literally the entire run. You don't even need to know more than that. Yeah, the reason we use KW triggers is uh, because they're just better. Like, you're not supposed to use the base triggers. Also, there's not as many properties on them for us, but for no wonder, they would have all the properties. That is why they use the triggers, probably. Because they did that like early in development, and then they just didn't want to bother replacing all of them. Because they probably didn't know how to like batch replace them or something. I don't know how they went and how to do that. I've done that a lot. It's not even hard to replace them, you just have to like, select every trigger in the map. Copy it to your clipboard, edit the clipboard to change the instance of trigger to equal KW trigger instead. And then you just paste that into the map. Or you can make that into its own T3D file and then you can port all of the triggers back in but as KW triggers instead of triggers. That's how you can like do batch placements, I had to do that for the dev kit a lot. As you can probably imagine. Because every freaking map uh, is using the wrong trigger. For the scope of the project. I- bro. That's so annoying. Love randomly clicking the right mouse button when I don't want to. But in any case, the developers should have been using the KW triggers anyway because it has slightly more functionality. Although, when I say that, I, what I'm basically saying is it uses the game's persistence system, which is known to be one of the worst systems ever made. Like, the persistence system is so, it's so bad, dude. It's actually so bad. I've been looking into making, uh, like, a, 
Well, I remember I tried to make, make like a hack to remove the persistence system from the game, but it was literally just causing crashes at random. Uh, depending on when you did it. You have to like load into a level and then do it and then reload the level and then you never have to do it again until you restart the game. So yeah, ascertain me how that one works? I don't know. Is that a gold? No. Not even close. Oh right, I forgot because I randomly jumped and then fumbled the bag on every single possible turn. And I had super slow lasers too. Come on, man. Nice bounce. It's not a mouse issue. It's a mouse issue. <laughs> it's a mouse issue. It's not possible. I can confirm. It's a mouse issue. Because I do it all the time. Like, I, I, I do, like, like, a physical double click by accident all the time, bro. Where I will click my mouse, and then instinctively my finger will click again for some reason. Without my permission. And then it looks like a scroll jump. But it actually wasn't. It was just me being a moron. But I'm like, I'm not, I wasn't, I'm not consciously doing that either. It just happens because my brain decides that that, that was the move. You know? That's yeah, beyond me how that one worked. I fell past the freaking trigger, bruh. I love that trigger, dude. That, that is my favorite part of the entire run, right there. Is every time I mess that up. So fun, dude. Should've just freaking hit it late. I mean, early, not late. Ah, Cause the thing is, like, if you hit it late, then there's the chance that when you skip the cuts, you'll just instantly... Uh, skip the level instead of having to fall after getting all your momentum cancelled. I mean, not FCS. What are we talking about? Not FCS. Always going for FCS and runs. Wouldn't be me without going for FCS. I mean, I'm literally the only runner who actually goes for FCS, so... Everyone else at the moment just doesn't even try it. Wingle and Jor have tried it, but they just can't get it to work as consistently, because they haven't put all the hours into it like I have. Because freaking FCS requires a lot of practice. At least on 60 it does. Because the inputting is so freaking weird, not to mention it's just a literal lottery whether or not you get it to work anyway. Even when you know what you're doing, but when you know what you're doing, it works a lot more often than when you don't know what you're doing. Like, I've been getting it a lot more often recently. Just because I have the muscle memory for it now. No, I definitely don't die to the well as much as I do FCS. FCS is where all my runs die. I shouldn't have even died to the well, I just died to it because I'm moron. I mean, I purposely didn't practice today either, and the reason for that being is that I don't want to pull a freaking... Oh, I did a practice run and I uh, beat the... I just got sub-18. I, I don't want that to happen. That cannot happen. I'm actually sick and tired of it, so I'm just... Oh man. Like, I, it, it's annoying because I know I'm still going to do some practice runs. Probably off stream. If I'm if I'm doing it at the bare minimum, I'm freaking putting on the face cam and the microphone. I do not care. I am not about to have the the craziest run of all time without you even be able to see me. That's just that's just ridiculous. At least for me, that's kind of the point of me doing it. I want it to be like something like some sort of like actual achievement to be happy about to some extent. Which, if I'm gonna keep on playing like this, that's not gonna happen easily. Yeah, a lot of people say it's not consistent, but. Just not consistent because we're not consistent, though. Literally, why it's not consistent. Because you have to. Super precisely move your camera 
Like, your camera has to be in an almost exact spot for it to work. Otherwise, it just won't work as often. And you're just basically relying on chance at that point. Which is why everyone says it's inconsistent, because if you don't do it right, then you're relying a lot more on chance than you would otherwise. You freaking kidding me? Okay, I have to, like, I, have, I had to wait for that, otherwise I was just gonna get hit and lose more time. I love Hunt 2, dude. I love how Hunt 2 is just has that random choke point at the beginning, and then it's actually just free. Well, I guess it's not necessarily free. You have this stupid part up here where you're supposed to walk around the street and you could very easily die there. I don't tend to die there, though. Oh, and this is... I guess this jump can be hard sometimes, but... If you play the game for a super long time, it's pretty easy. You just have to know, like, when to jump, uh, because the timing is weird. That might have been the worst possible bounce RNG I could have received. It sent me directly backward. The exact area I do not want to go. At least there's free time save and hunt three every time. Because you can't have as bad of a hunt three as I did on, on the world record though. It's not possible. Uh -huh. Are you freaking serious, dude? Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because I just lost it all in Hunt 4. It's too bad I'm at a point now where, like, if I make even, like, three seconds worth of mistakes that are notable, I just have to reset, though. That's kind of, like, where I'm at at this point, because otherwise the sub-18 is just not really possible. Like, I've got to play basically perfect the entire way. Like, at most, I have, like, maybe 10 seconds of leniency. Maybe. And also, the, the Shrek Swamp I get is gonna pretty heavily dictate how good the run is gonna have to be as well. The hardest thing about Shrek, too. There's a lot of hard things about it, but... In terms of speedrunning on 60 FPS, FPS is one of oh, I don't even it's not even one of. It's the hardest trick in the run, and then there's impossible jumps soon after, which is the hardest jump in the entire run. You know? Like 360 FPS frame perfect. So. Not stupid though. If it's not actually that, then it's like. Super precise. I'd be surprised if there's 30 FPs. The amount of times I don't get it though. Although I guess in saying that, uh, in the 1810 I got yesterday, I did actually get impossible jump with no practice at all and I don't know how I keep doing it. I don't know, impossible jump is something that's for sure. You're only going to be able to do it if you're already good at- you have to be good enough at triple jumps to even have a shot at doing it though. Assuming you're not calling impossible jump freaking gas skip, which is the- that's like the skip at the very end of FGM Donkey. For some people- for some reason people call that impossible jump as well, I don't know why. That's not the real impossible jump though, that's a fake one. That's a gas skip. That's not going to work. I love this game, dude. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche control ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. I'm moving way too fast. Okay, that's actually pretty decent, but now it's too late. So I guess I'll just continue. It's like plus one though, at least. It's probably plus two. So bad. Oh, it's so bad. Gasket, yeah. Gasket is an interesting trick, for sure. A lot of people don't understand the movement that you have to do for, for the trick to even work in the first place. There's a very specific arc you want to hit each time, and it's not where you would think. It's not an intuitive location to do everything from. I'm the most consistent river jumper of all time. Crikey, dude. Have you seen me fail river jump once this stream? What is happening? 
think it's like I think I've done river jump like five or six times in a row now, and that's two thirty FPS frame perfect each time. What am I doing, dude? We got that GD consistency going on right now. Holy, because then GD, I, like my hardest level I ever beaten. There was like there were so many thirty FPS frame perfects. It's actually insane. So that, that that's the reason why that for me is just not that difficult. There should not be because I've already beaten a level where you have to do that a, t a ton of times in a row and not mess up. Huh? Impossible jump is the it's the glitch triple jump at the end of Prison Shrek, huh? where you can do door skip uh, eight seconds faster. Oh. It's the hardest jump in the whole game. You know, I, I, what does make me wonder, I wonder what the second hardest jump in the game is. Off the top of my head. Because that would be a hard thing to calculate. What would be the second hardest jump if it's not impossible jump? I don't even know. Actually, I think I might know, but it's like a task strap. If you would never actually go for it in a run. And I don't even think I did it on 60 FPS. Does George skip the tutorial coming? I have no freaking idea if it ever will. I. Bro. Like, I feel like inclined that I need to do it at some point, though. I certainly haven't worked on it yet. I think like two years ago I tried working on it before something. But at the time I didn't understand the trick enough. The trick just has like a lot of prerequisites to it. A lot of setup. Uh. I, I guess I'm just never failing rubber jump again. Can't seem to do it anymore. Most consistent river jumper of all time. Oh, that was so fast. What? This has to be a gold ride. Did I lose time anywhere? Gosh dang it, I did. I saw it too. I literally saw myself lose the time save as I was talking about it. It was so fast though. Oh my gosh, dude. Random itch comes to, to screw me over, I guess. I don't know, like, randomly move left and then right. Or right and then left, I just spoke in reverse. Oh, ces plantes-là sont terribles. Hmm. Whoa! -ho! Ah, j'aurais pu me passer de ça. Hmm. J'aime pas la tête de cet arbre. Ah ah! Nice game lag, man. You guys probably just saw the timer lag there, too, I guarantee you. Timer had to have lagged with that. The timer lagged so that that means that the freaking game just stopped. Like, actually just stopped. Okay, there you go. There, There's the first freaking split that just didn't freaking happen. I undid my split! I'm so good, dude. I don't even know what even happened there. I was waiting for it to eventually just like miss a split. Huh? It finally did it once, let's go, dude. Well, there's proof that technically it can happen where it just doesn't split. That's the first time I've ever seen it in like... Oh, like seven hours of testing. Huh? That's a freaking consistent splitter right there. Oh my gosh, I hate my life. Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant.
I mean, it'll save you like, what, 15 seconds or something if you uh, learn the the entire trick and are, are consistent at it. Uh. It'll save you something like that. That was a nice clip. Uh. Ce serait plus rapide de sauter de Nénuphar en... Attention au rond, Shrek J'ai pas trop envie d'avoir à jouer les médecins avec toi. It's... Uh, I don't know. It's a learny trick, I'll tell you that. Very learny trick. Shrek, laisse-moi t'aider You're gonna spend a lot more time on trying to learn that than you would expect, though. Because it, it, I mean, at least on my world record run, and I, I'm assuming I didn't fail it uh, instantly. I probably made it look really easy. I can't fail river jump. It's, it's not possible. Failing river jump is just never gonna happen. Bro, oh, oh, I love that dude. Let's go. Love losing time for no freaking reason there. I literally can't do it. Dude. I'm not freaking practicing it either. I absolutely refuse to practice that jump. Because I know I'm very much more incapable than doing that one simple jump. It's so much easier than any other part in the entire run, and I just can't do it for some reason. Gotta be moving, right? Really not. Not even moving. Oh my gosh. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit. If you want like a more ballsy time save, you can always go for the original time save in Prison Shrekta. Nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Like a really goofy one where you buy an invis pot and then you do a triple jump over the the intro Fat Night cutscene. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant. Oh yeah, whatever I was saying, it freaking saves 15 seconds by the way. George kept saving 15 seconds. That's 15 seconds over that strat, by the way. The strat where you you buy an invest pot and triple jump over the fat night cutscene so you can instantly kill him. That saves you like another 10 seconds or something like that if you do that. It's probably not 10 seconds, it's more like... Why, it actually might be 10 seconds, though. It's a really big time save, though. It's probably way more than that. There's like how much a door skip would save on like a normal run. Bro, I can't get the bong that I need right now to get stuck in the tree. Oh my gosh, dude. It can't you do it. Every time I record an FPS, the, an OBS, the FPS uh, is incredibly low. Uh, means you have an optimizer, isn't it, dude? Make sure OBS is not using your, uh, your GPU. Uh. Assuming that your CPU is powerful enough to do general recording, uh. you should not be using your GPU. Uh. You, if if uh, OBS uses your GPU, then your FPS instructor is going to tank pretty hard. Like, this game is CPU bound, or what, capped, uh, basically. Because it's a 32-bit game, so this game cannot use all- it can- it can use hardly any of your CPU, uh, but OBS can use your CPU. So it's just simply smarter for you to have OBS use your CPU as its encoder, not your GPU. And then, of course, you're gonna need to turn down the settings. Like the, uh, there's like a- I like preset or something like, like- fast, very fast, super fast, stuff like that. Use like very fast, uh, Use a bitrate of like 6k, uh, 6, 6, 6 thousand megabit per second, or I guess kilobyte per second, I mean. So 6 megabit per second. 
record at 60 FPS. The resolution... It doesn't even need to be much higher than, than what the game is already running at. 720p is perfectly acceptable. My game is rendering in 768p, so... I mean, the, the, the stream is in is in 1080p, but... The game is in 768p. Although it's in 1080, so you can actually see the 768p resolution to some extent. Because I run Shrek 2 in 1024 by 768. Wait, what? Bro, I could have swore that was the timing, and it just didn't even work even a little bit. Ce serait plus rapide de sauter de nénuphar en... Attention, Orange, Shrek J'ai pas trop envie d'avoir à jouer les médecins avec toi. La voilà What the hell Bro Des bandits Bruh. Shrek, laisse-moi t'aider Non, ne me quittez pas je... Oh, you know what I guarantee you, the reason it didn't split on Hunt 3 is because of that one thing. There's a bug I know of that uh, that the auto splitter has, but I haven't figured out how to fix it yet. <laughs> or sometimes, uh, the, it, it, there's a variable in the auto splitter that tracks what maps you've played, and for some reason that just doesn't get reset sometimes. I have no idea why. I'm gonna have to look into that and figure out why that's not being reset consistently. That might mean that it just won't even split on Shrek Swamp until I freaking try something specific. What? No. Okay, now it works. Okay. I'm telling you, it's freaking random. Actually, just random. I was seeing this yesterday too, where it was like randomly the freaking the auto split would just not split on a particular level. Not it, it, it's not because the pointer was bad. It's because the freaking events that life split uh, provides in ASL just don't work sometimes. Pretty sure. I think I'm gonna have to make like some hacky fix or something to bypass that. Which is I'm actually dead. Let's go. Which is fantastic. Any late skip brother, what is that? Sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle, ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Marcher dans l'eau ralentit la course. Ce serait plus rapide de sauter de nénuphar. Attention Oron, Shrek, j'ai pas trop envie d'avoir à jouer les médecins avec toi. Shrek, laisse-moi t'aider. It seems to do with Shrek Swamp, though, in particular, but I've seen it happen on... Well, now I've seen it happen on the Hunt Resplit, I believe. I can't remember from, like, a previous run what I did. It was like, oh, well, you've already been here, so we don't need to split. That's what it said. Either that or I got incredibly unlucky. Oh, it was almost a gold! I saw the mistake, but... Man. My hunt one gold is actually just absurd. Like, how did I even do that? 40.64. Okay, it's possible to beat it, but mate. It's so freaking optimized down to the frame. That was a nice hunt too as well. Which means hunt three is gonna kill the run. That was very sketchy, but I guess it's fine.
Wow, would you look at that? I did the freaking thing that was supposed to happen originally. Wow. It would have thunk, too. Nice lag spike. I was so far left. What am I doing, man? Have I even played this game before? Look how much freaking time save there is, man. Holy. That's gonna freaking grab. Awesome, dude. Well, speaking of all that time save that I was uh, just talking about, that's all gone now because I'm going up against basically a gold. What was that? What was that, dude? That was the freaking lamest thing I've ever seen. I don't even know what I even just saw there, man, but that was stupid. Uh. Why did that even happen, man? I, I can't even describe what I even just experienced there. Like, I swear the game just, like, slow mode or something. It just actually slowed down and, like, I got stuck in a wall or something. Are you freaking serious, dude? I hate my life. Literally did window jump. I did it again somehow, and then I fell off. Awesome. Awesome! Let's go! Run's dead forever now. What a garbage freaking run this is. Holy. I could not have asked for a worse run than this. Literally everything was so fine until factory. Bro, I'm literally getting hit by fire that's not even rendering on the screen, holy. And I remember that. Am I gonna actually have to practice a tiny bit? I can't believe this. Last thing I feel like I gotta do is practice, especially after just yesterday when I thought I needed to practice, I got the freaking tied world record. Who ties the world record, bro? Who does that? It was there because I was trying to skip the cutscene fast and it didn't- it only, uh, halfway worked, uh, And if it halfway works, then Donkey will, uh, appear in front of you like that. I mean, talk about cutscenes that are not, uh, that are not properly set up. Hamlet is one of the worst offenders of that of all time. Like, you want to freaking learn how to do, like, INT scripting, and then you look at their thing, and you're like, oh, this is how I should do it. Nope. Not how you should do it at all. <laughs> they use actions that you're gonna have to understand. But wow. You know? Like, the main thing is the way that they set up their, their queuing in, the, in that INT script in particular. I guess it, it's a problem in most of them. Whoever was in charge of setting up all the queues in every INT script was terrible at it. Because in a practical INT script, every single sequence that you set up ends all at the exact same time. And the way you track that is by setting up a queue system that makes sure that nothing can end before everything is actually ended. But in almost every cutscene in this game, that's not properly set up, so there's instances where the cutscene just breaks bad. And Hamlet's one of those offenders, for sure.
I remember whenever I was trying to learn INT scripting, I had to just deal with that. I had to learn everything about No Wonder cutscenes and why they didn't work. I mean, I guess in a way, that's kind of like how I even learned how to do INT scripting in the first place. Because I taught myself literally everything from everything I could possibly get my hands on, and the INT scripts are... They're exposed in the file, and they're in the game's directory, so it's very easy to figure out like how they work. Provided you have enough game knowledge already. That's basically the way I learned. I just looked at all... I, 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 I looked at every single INT script the game has to offer. And then I figured out what was wrong with all of them. <laughs> and why they are, like, buggy and stuff. And then from that point, I was able to develop my own. Nice cam flip. I almost died there. What? You're gonna give me the cam flip then? Are you serious? Out of all the times you could have given me the cam flip and you gave it to me there, that's the one place where I do not want it to. I'd, I would take it, I think, anywhere else in the entire level. Except there. You the only one to use movies and maps, though. Probably. Well, I'm- I mean, I've done a lot of things in maps that a lot of people have not done as well. And that- that's just from GOI, by the way. Just from getting Ogrit. One. Version 2.0. It's annoying to me, though, that a lot of people uh, have been learning how to map also because of GUI. Like, it's not even like, I don't even blame you, but like, the map itself is not that well designed in a lot of regards. Which is why I don't really like thinking about it, too. Like, by me doing that map, it made me learn that in what ways I'm a bad mapper, you know? But man... Did you make the anti-cheating movie? What does that even mean? There's no anti-cheat in that map, huh? Although I definitely would have added that if I could have, uh, Know that for a fact, though. Oh, what the hell was that? <sighs> you really made me get stuck for for a frame and then just decided... Nah, I'm gonna stop doing that actually. That's not it. I guess we're waiting until this happens. Bro, what? I was even relatively confident about that one, too. Nope. Like, that was the angle. Nope. Awesome, got second framed. Awesome. That's one thing you can't avoid with that thing, man. It's inevitable that if you're trying to go for FCS, at one point in time you will get a second frame on that and you'll die. Although I, I remember I had a random instance where I actually got the second frame and I still lived and I don't know how that happened. I know that the fall damage system is not stable though. But I think I just got incredibly lucky. That's not it. In the right area. I don't even think it is. I guess it is. No. 
et j'ai gaspillé cette potion. J'espère que je ne le regretterai pas. Oh. Hélas, ma potion oh. ne marche plus. Si je suis seul, elle est inutilisable. I mean, yeah, I know about that. That movie, yeah. And this, this is just a no reset, guys. I'm just gonna do a no reset because I need it. I need to actually finish a run. Yeah, I remember. It's been a long time since I've listened to that, too. I wonder what it's like now. I do remember the, the thing I added, though. The, the thing at the end. Uh, I still remember that. Man, times were different back then. <laughs> if I put that in there, I put that little thing in there because I was like, oh yeah, this is probably the next thing I'll do, right? But... Uh, times changed. It's not that I can't do that, by the way. I most definitely can with code. I especially am confident I can do it now, but... No. I just don't have that kind of time at this point. Well, maybe that's not true. It's just not on my list. Uh, I never really added it to my to-do list. Uh, well, actually I did, but I removed it a long time ago. For various reasons. Uh. Also, my uh, whenever I was working on the map, I remembered uh, the map file corrupted at one point in development, and I had literally lost the entire map. Or at least I thought I did. Uh, if I was actually smart, then I would have known that there's a backup uh, in the editor's directory, and I could have just loaded that. I actually used my brain for two seconds. I didn't actually lose it. I mean, I would have had it, but I didn't know that. So. Yeah, I lost it. Which is cool. And then I think I rebuilt it out of, like, frustration, and then I just stopped the project. <laughs> I was so sick and tired of that happening. It just heavily demotivated me at that point. Even though I got back to where I was in terms of mapping, I just was over that. No oh, impossible jump attempt, I guess, because screw me, yeah. Like, I have way more inspiration to work on GUI 2 than that secret project of mine. That will probably never see the light of day. It's really not that much of a secret project, because if you ever beat GUI... 100% and then you would know about the thing, yeah? And you probably have a brilliant idea as to what it's supposed to be like. I'm gonna try this. I don't know why I feel like doing this. I just do. I got, that seemed a lot faster. <laughs> Oh, mon Dieu. Tu as le temps pour un café? Ça me faudrait le cœur que tu partes déjà. Ooh. Hi guys, I'm able to get 720 this run. I can't believe it. Quelle perfection! Bien que je te serre dans mes bras. I held back a little bit too early, but that was fine. I might be dead. Okay, I guess I'm not. A 310 is uh, not too bad considering everything. Oh, 
It skips the cutscene where uh, you're introduced to Mongo, not the Castle Siege one, where you have to watch him like take over or begin the Castle Siege, I suppose. That was some freaking optimized movement right there, holy. Can I get a fast FGM for once? Just not. Alright, just give me like just the best FGM ever, why not? Or you know what? Actually, just, just give me the worst one, never mind. I should take a worse one. Oh, I guess I spoke too late. It's giving me the best one now. I, I would hope I don't get like the best one now on the pace like this, but hey. Does it really matter? It's not going to change anything, man. Is that like one hit from stage two? It is one hit from stage two. Dude, this is some abnormally good RNG. <laughs> what is that? Well, it's not that. It's not even that good, though, actually. Never mind. Okay, never mind. I just looked at the time. Nah, it's actually. It could have been a few seconds faster. Because it could have thrown me into stage two, like, right then. Bro, what is this throw RNG, man? It just keeps on giving me high throw numbers. Counts. Bye, sub twenty. Dude, <laughs> if we stop with the freaking high food counts, yep, let's delay it as long as possible. Oh, man. Oh, would you look at that? The most average FDM possible. 20... Uh, let's go. Like, look at the run, dude. Just just look at it. It's looking so good. You do, like, Hunt 4, and I'm, my, I'm basically minus 5 coming out of Hunt 4. And then Factory happens. And then you're like, oh, well, now the run's garbage. But we're kind of saving it. We're kind of saving it. And then FGM PIB happens. So. <laughs> I said basically my life in a nutshell right there. Whatever that was, dude. Man. Pour sauter sur les nénuphars, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. I know I could do so much better than that. I know I can. Basically, all my time losses from FGMPIB, though. Like, the run itself was not bad. It was just FGMPIB. Not FGMPIB. Uh, well, actually, no, it was FGMPIB. <laughs> FGMPIB and uh, Prison PIB. Uh, both of the PIB levels were terrible. What the? What? The, what the, huh? What was that, dude? That was incredibly odd. How did that work? That was one of the weirdest air trijacks I've ever performed, I think. How did I hit the second log, and then how did I still hit the third log? This is the weirdest start to run thing I've ever seen. Any issues with loading up animations? Yeah, you're probably loading up uh, one... You're probably land, uh, loading uh, am creatures or whatever, whatever it's called. The one that says something about ambient creatures, do not open that. You can't open that. All the other ones you can open, just not that one. Well, the, the thing is, though, you don't, here's the thing, you don't even need to open it, uh, because, well, I don't know exactly what's in that file and why it causes a crash, but, uh, my custom built editor 
.u files uh, already reference uh, assets that are within there anyway, so you can see like like the f you can see stuff like like the fish and the frog, and you can use that in your map. Like you can see within the file without it crashing, but the moment you actually try to manually open it, it will just crash. Okay, I just got five duplicate peasants in a row. That's incredibly rare. Holy, all five of the same color. Isn't that like a one in a thousand or something? I think it's a one in a thousand. Good. Oh man, hoping again. Three time save. You're late. I don't know about being late. I mean, I'm the one who's actually being late. Oh my gosh, dude. Awesome. Lost all my time saves in Hunt 3. Well, I still got that, so it's like kind of fine, but it's not that great. The thing is, I should be like streaming at like... I don't know, like... Three hours before now? Uh, I've been streaming whenever I have the chance at this point, because I can't really stream consistently. Free coin! I hate my life. There goes all my time saved there. <laughs> Definitely gonna be behind on this one now. It did the, th it did the thing again. What, what was that, dude? You guys saw that, man. I was like rubbing up against the wall and it was like slowing me down at random times. So weird. That was freaking optimized, though. Even though I've lost time everywhere else. I was expecting that to happen eventually. I've been getting it way too often. Most expected time loss of all time. If I'm gonna lose time anywhere, it's gonna be there or the run dies at FCS. It's one of the two. Bro, you didn't- you really gave me the bounce RNG so I couldn't do that. Unbelievable. That's not gonna work. Okay, never mind. Why, dude? I can't do it anymore. If everything were to go literally perfect right now, I would just end with a 1754. That's how bad this run is. <laughs> Nothing can save this run. <laughs> There's more, it's more like 1756 now. Oh boy. Everything went perfect. Though. That's not going to happen because I don't have the coin RNG for it either. Is this a, yeah, this is bad. I might as well freaking reset, but like, it's a run, I guess. Uh, I'm making some really stupid mistakes in mines recently. No, only in mines is it happening, huh? I really jumped like a, just a frame too early. And I saved time. I saved time somehow because my splits were that bad on my 1810. 
I'm telling you guys, my 1810 was not good. I was so annoyed when I saw it was literally... I hate everything. When I saw it literally tied the world record. Like, what? what is that? It tied the world record and it was the worst thing ever. In so many different ways. Thank you for good luck, Rafa. Oh my gosh, dude, I suck. It's not gonna make it either. Okay, never mind. Yeah, the tall peasant animation, I don't know if you know this, Mirror, but you can apply that to any peasant you want. Just, like, select the tall peasant mesh. And then go to, like, a like edit like a peasant, and then set their mesh variable, which is shown in the display variable tab. Like, click on that, and then click, like, use or whatever. Whatever it's called. Inkling. And then it should make the peasant, like, tall. He even has, like, custom animations, but it's a little bit buggy, so... I know for a freaking fact that... Well, if I mess around with it enough, I'm hoping that in Shrek 2.2, I can have those tall peasants be a thing. Because I think that that is a really cool aspect of the game that was never used. This is the run of all time. No can flip again. That's not the worst thing ever. That ties my uh, my 1809 prison steed, and then I proceeded to lose all of my hope the moment that happened. It's technically sub-18 pace going into prison PIB, so I guess that's something. Unfortunately, for that to be true, um, I'm gonna have to do everything perfectly, and that's just not gonna happen, so... Sorry to spoil that one for you guys, it's not gonna happen. I can't even- I, there's no chance. Even if I handed the control over to a freaking robot at this point, I don't think we'd have a chance. I'll try. Also, I got another FCS attempt from, uh, from Shrek Swamp, so... Cool. It's always good to get in those FCS attempts. Hopefully I don't get a first try. Or if I do, then I don't know. Well, I don't even know. I, I guess I do hope I do get it first try, never mind. I think I should always hope that I'm gonna that I'm gonna get it first try. Uh, you need to set up worker markers. At least I'm pretty sure that that's what they they were called. You can see in uh, FGM PIB how it's done, pretty easily. So in FGM PIB, they place down these worker markers. Basically how it works is that they're they're the same thing as AI nodes, or path nodes, as the game or the engine calls them. Gosh dang it. If an... If any sort of enemy, uh... Directly walks to that... Worker marker, then they will randomly like, play an animation. Basically, whatever you specify in the worker marker itself, they'll do that. They have to be on a route, though, in order to use it. Huh? 
If they're not on a route, then they can't use it. I guess we'll take that. Whatever. I'll do another no reset just because I still need to practice anyway. Good to get then get in those runs. This is the only way you can really practice in this freaking game, in my opinion. Like, we're gonna lose a lot of time, but... That's not really too relevant to me. The run was already not on a good pace anyway. Like, there, there was no chance this run was gonna do anything. Je les retiens. Sortez de là tous les deux. timing. I don't know what that was all about. But, eh. I find it funny that despite the fact that I I just lost 32 seconds in prison PIB, it doesn't... I, I could still get a sub-19 pretty easily. They called flying mice. Huh? Why would that? Uh, how does that work? <laughs> flying mice. Huh? Yeah. Learn something new every day. Okay, that was a jump and a half. I love this song. It's a pretty interesting song. Huh? It's probably I don't know. I'm I think I still think that, that the prison steed uh, uh, song is better than this one, but this one's a close second. Like this one's got a vibe, and then you have the prison PIB one, which isn't bad. It's just not as good as the as the other two, in my opinion. Imagine that would have been insane. Uh, I'm back. I don't even remember which one it was, so I'm just gonna jump on your guys' head. Because I don't freaking remember. There you are. Accepterais tu d'être notre chef? That's so... Uh, why? <laughs> Who started that? That's so random. <laughs> what a random thing for someone to come up with, though. That, that's fine, but it, okay, that was just weird. Not really a fan of how I played that one. What did I get? 310. Whatever. 310 is the most expected possible prison truck I can get because uh, I didn't get any any potions or impossible jump. And I had to buy a potion too, so that's like another like four seconds. Huh? Oh, I guess I can sub 19. I don't really know if that's something to be excited about, but hey. Take what you can get, I guess. My my most recent best run is like a like a high. Isn't it like a 1905 or something? A 1905 is not a good time. Let's like get a not terrible 
run for fun. Nice coins. Bro. A little bit concerned about that not splitting, but okay. Block les sorts avec ton épée. Je sais de source sûre que ça marche. Why did that not split? That's so weird. I wonder if the refresh rate of the script is all of a sudden like enforced to 40 once you make it official or something. It doesn't really matter what your time is. I think it'd be cool anyway. Bonne journée à toi aussi. Tu t'es surestimé. I saw RNG, man. Je fais, pardonne-moi, Fiona. Tu me fais perdre mon temps. Two more turns and I can finish FDM. Interesting. Really? That just it. That might just be it. Really? I haven't messed with- well, actually, no, I have messed with it before. I remember setting- I remember setting that up, like, a long time ago, and it just wasn't freaking worth it. For all the hassle you gotta deal with, uh, it's just not freaking worth it. Anything for good luck, man. So, it didn't even- it didn't even split. It didn't split? This was the equivalent uh, of a 206 FGM. So that's cool. Awesome, awesome freaking run right there, man. You genuinely wonder why it didn't split, though. Why did why did it just decide not to split for some reason? I'm gonna have to do more debugging, I guess, in regards to why that happened. Got no freaking idea why that would be the case. That's very much unlike what I've what I've seen before. Appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit oh, tout okay. en courant en avant. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Oh, this freaking blaze guy, dude. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, I just got reminded of what happened yesterday. I swear, Blaze, it, it, it didn't happen, okay? That literally didn't happen, okay? We just leave that between you and I, okay? That's all I'll say. 
and human. Yeah, human also had to see that. Bro, I don't, I don't know what the hell got into me, man. It just, that just happened for some reason, though. It seems very much not like me to do whatever that was. Got no idea. Man, I'm sorry for doing whatever the hell that was. That was weird. Marcher dans l'eau ralentit la course. Ce serait plus rapide de sauter de nénuphar. Attention au rond, Shrek. Like there's like there, I, there's not even like an explanation for what happened. It just did. Gosh. I love 30 FPS frame perfects, dude. They're my favorite. Just like Devil Vortex with the 430 FPS frame perfects when the run starts. Literally the same thing. Actually just DV all over again, dude. What headphones do you have? I have the, the Sony WH-1000 uh, XM3s. I mean, they're like a relatively old model of headphone. Like, I should have like the XM4s. XM5s are... I don't know if those are really worth it or not, to be honest. The XM4s are probably what I would get now. The thing is, the XM4s didn't exist at the time. The XM3s were the most up to date, so... The headphones have uh, active noise cancelling built into them, and it's very good. Which is why I have them in the first place. But you're saying get that eight, but <laughs> wait a second. You're saying get the 18 flat? I can't do that. If I get the 18 flat, I'm gonna freaking lose my mind. <laughs> I better freaking get a sub 18. If I if I if I PB again, it better be by one or two seconds, or a, or a must. It has to be a sub 18. That was the freaking worst thing I've ever seen. Has to be a sub 18. I will not take anything else. I have freaking. I love when the cherry does that because of my movement being that terrible. If that actually happens, if I if I get an 18 flat, I will end the stream instantly, and I will never do anything online ever again. I'll, I'll literally just leave until I get it. My entire life will be me just playing the game, and then that's it. I'll just be running offline forever. I'd be so freaking livid. That might be. That, I, 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 oh my gosh, man! It actually makes me mad even thinking about it. That better not freaking happen. Though. I swear, if FGM does that to me, and you know what's funny? Somewhat recently, uh, I had a run where if it had, if I just got like one more piece of food, it would have been an 18 0 It would have been, and I would be so freaking pissed. Dude. I'm so glad it didn't happen. I got an 1809 instead. I, I I will take an 1809 over an 1800. Like don't 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 even show me that garbage time. Don't even show me it. I, yeah, I, I swear, I will directly ping you in the freaking Discord if it happens. 100%. And that'll be the last message you ever see from me. Probably forever. <laughs> that'll be my goodbye. What the hell, man? I don't know if freaking have, man. I will be so unsatisfied with an 18-0-0. Gotta have something better than that. Imagine, like, somehow, whenever the run inevitably occurs, it's actually just sub-1750 for some reason. <laughs> If it's a sub-1750... I hate that so much. That is the least satisfying mistake 
satisfying you. That is the most annoying mistake in the entire run. I hate it so freaking much. Randomly just happens, dude, I swear. Oh, that gameplay, damn right, dude. It's gonna happen like that. I, I I get I like dude. I, I get what my what my my uh, freaking some of best says right. And it's like oh it should be easy because I've got plenty of runs where my where the run was 15 off sob. But it's just not like that for Shrek too huh? because there's way more uh, like there, there's a few more crucial elements that you need to happen. In order to match that, such as you have to get FCS, you have to get impossible jump, you have to get good coin RNG. All three of which are not going to happen on the same run. It's just not possible. What the bro? Lose all the time. The spear mod got updated again. How? In what way? What, what, what was the purpose of updating it? Love how I lost it all. Damn it. Can't do a 60 FPS frame perfect blind. Can't believe it, dude. I should just retire. Go fix the soft lock. I like how the game is so freaking bad to the point where even a beginner programmer can figure. Uh, he, he, he can fix everything. I, I, I just find that funny. The developers won't freaking do that, are you kidding? It didn't even take long. No way I saved time! <laughs> wow. It's not gonna work. Or it will work just fine. Well, I I assume so. Why would there not be a built-in function for it? Really bad programming if that wasn't there for some reason, and you had to like manually determine the the next uh, task every time. Yeah, like multiple lines of code. That'd be terrible. Oh my dude, please! I was sick and tired of that, man. Especially that. That's the second most annoying mistake in the entire run. And then, of course, the most annoying, or the third most annoying, is uh, just failing FCS every time, because that's usually what happens. Well, I failed this jump, huh? Dude, I don't get that jump anymore. I actually just don't get it. Huh? It's a 20 FPS frame perfect. I've, I haven't failed it in, like, weeks. Huh? And I don't even practice the jump. Huh? Is my muscle memory just that consistent at that one jump? Huh? Maybe a three frame window is not even that hard to hit or something. But I could have swore that from playing GD, it's actually like a hard window to hit. Or kind of hard to hit. I think just I think playing me beating Devil Vortex in GD just made it that much easier for me to hit their FPS frame perfect consistently. Oh, what a great set of developers. Wait, so they made a custom death animation for him. Put it in the game files. And then just forgot that it existed. How do you do that? It's a little bit of an oopsie. Oh. 
I hate my life. Why did I do that? Why? Why did I just stop moving forward? I literally never stopped moving forward. And for that, for some reason, I decided to yield on that. Why? I'm actually so stupid, dude. Oh my gosh, I hate everything. This is, this is like the worst run I think I've ever performed. There's like major mistakes in every split so far. Every single split has a major mistake. Okay, well, hypothetically, if the run goes perfect from this point, then I could uh, possibly do something. But that's not gonna happen because uh, I have the minimum amount of coins. It's like another plus three seconds. FCS just like work, like for real. Is there a chance? I think I know what the answer is, though. I'm gonna actually win the lottery to do this. Maybe not. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was not that great. But it actually will happen to. This is World Record Pace officially. Or has a chance. I'm gonna need everything else to be really good though. Everything else has to be good. Better not be. I will be very mad if that happens. I mean, I already said I already said what, what, what I'll do if it if it ends in that. I will instantly end the stream. Instantly. All right. Well, actually, I, I shouldn't let it end instantly. I'll let it play for like a few seconds just to make sure that that the stream actually catches the time. Then I'll end. That'd be freaking mad. It's a 246, right? Yep. That makes sense because I spent like an extra freaking two seconds with the second part of FCS. Just because I was so freaking... I don't know. I was worried that, that like it wasn't like... I, I didn't have the lineup I wanted though. What am I going up against? A 302? A 303? Rio 3 Prison Shrek. That's only gonna happen, I think, if I get an impossible jump. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose like another 5 10 seconds. Or 8 seconds, I'm in. I swear, FGM, FGM, if I get, if I get over to there on sub 18 pace and you freaking throw it. Oh man. FGM, you and I are gonna have to have a freaking discussion. Okay? My freaking FGM is a 215 for crying out loud. I know it can be better than that. I, I, you could literally get a sub two minute one. Just do that instead, okay? I'm really not asking for much. Huh? Even if you give me an average seven throw every time, don't, I don't even care. If you give me an average seven throw, no spark. That's good enough for me. Give me the most average possible thing. Well, actually, except well, average except for uh, for sparking because sparking is a 50% chance. So do not hit the 50% chance. We're gonna need a normally good luck in that in that regard. So we don't get the same amount of orbs as we do sparks. So. Yeah, I, I, yeah, basically. Either you're gonna have to give me just the best FGM ever, or you're gonna have to give me the worst one. 
But we, we cannot have an in-between. Do not give me like a 230, 240. Either give me it or don't. Okay. It's not even like a hard concept. Though. So don't fall here like a moron. Right, I don't recall if I bought potions or I bought the love pot here, but I have to do it. I cannot believe this. I am the most consistent person ever at clutching up impossible jump. I don't get it. That's like the fourth time that that's happened now, where I need it to happen and then it happens. I do not get what I'm doing. Now this is like an actual serious one. What the hell? Please don't mess up doors like a freaking moron. Please, just don't mess it up. Don't be stupid, though. Uh oh, that's not gonna work. Uh. That might not work either. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh, it did. I I don't even know how that even worked. Uh. That was a freaking miracle. That's what that was. Uh. Should not have worked. Uh. Literally tied. Or no, I was one frame behind my original. Uh. One frame. Uh. Literally, the, I, I repeated the exact same prison track somehow. I don't know how that even happens. I... This is the second time ever I've been on sub-18 pace going into FGM. No, do not do one second worse than go, I swear. Do not. A 205 is such a random time to get anyway. I'm I don't think I've ever got a 205. I've got 206 in multiple times. I've got 204 once. Oh wait, what is my gold? Is it 203? Uh -oh. I kicked so freaking early, holy balls. I didn't even mean to kick that early, I should have just died there, but I didn't. It, this might actually go. <laughs> I think. Is that just a gold? Yeah, it is. Okay. That was insane. Imagine golding Castle Siege. That's, a, that's such a random thing to gold. You usually always just lose one second off gold. FGM. I'm gonna need some good stuff from you, okay? You know what to do. I'm gonna need two more high throws. Hold on. If you 9 throw right here, it's Libby dead. I cannot believe you just did that. I can't believe it, FGM. Why? 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 Why, dude? What was that? Are you serious, dude? Are you serious? Gosh, dang it. 
the world record, but what? Bro! Literally was gonna be 17.58. Oh my gosh, dude. You just gave me the 9th throw. You just had to give me a 9th throw. A bad run, dude. Holy. At least I got a run on stream freaking finally. I can't feel good about it, but I did it. So, uh, you gonna continue? Yeah, we still got another hour and a half, so... I'm gonna go for three hours. Bruh. That's so annoying. It was gonna literally tie gold. It would have tied gold. Damn. I don't know. I have no idea. 1808. What was the mistake? There wasn't a mistake. I just got bad RNG at the end. I- she gave me an 8th throw? If she gave me a 9th throw, it would have literally got her. All she had to do was give me a 9th throw. But it's asking for so much, that's like a 1 in- uh, it's a 1 in 5 that that was gonna happen. And I just happened to get an 8th throw, which is 1 away from what I needed. So, it just- it was, uh. If I didn't get an 8 or a 7 there, then it would have not been a world record either, holy. That's a screenshot. Man. I'm- I'm still not satisfied with that at all. It's still not good. But I guess I'll take it. Whatever. Really annoying. Gosh, dude, why? Still have the chance for the 18, yeah. Still theoretically get that. Let's, let's let's see what the splits are. Oh man, these splits were so nice. And then FGM. Okay, hold on. Let's do a quick analysis on the splits. Huh? Okay, hunt one was not that good. Uh, hunt two was not that good. I remember that. Huh? Uh, Hunt 4 was pretty, that was pretty freaking good. FGM PIB was garbage. And then, so, well actually, all the factory was terrible. The entire factory was really bad, so all my time saves going to be there now. Uh, did anything else really happen, notably? Oh yeah, I lost a lot of time, yeah, oh, okay. Hamlet End and Prison Steed also has a lot of free time save. FGM PIB, or not FGM, uh, Prison PIB has like a full second of time save. Uh, Prison Shrek is still impossible. There, there's no way I'm gonna replicate that again. Castle Siege, I'm gonna lose a second to every time. And then FGM Battle, I'm gonna need a good one for every time, so. That's basically the analysis. What a run. It's not even like a good run, it's just like... Whatever, you know? I will admit though, I was I, I was actually panicking for a split second whenever I, whenever I was doing FGM there at the end. And I saw there was a chance. The fact that she even I can't believe that FGM teased me like that. You really you're gonna tease me with a sub 18 like that and then give me the world record by one second. Like man, are you really gonna do that to me? So disrespectful, man. Yeah, whatever. That is, uh... It's also the fastest run for, uh, compared to Uncapped, too, so that's a really, really nice run in comparison, but still not good in my opinion. 1755 waiting for? That's never gonna happen. Best case scenario is what you just saw, 1758. 1758 or 1759, that, that, that is as low as the category will ever go. You can't go lower than that. No one can. 
Marcher dans l'eau ralentit la course. No freaking way winning would ever beat that. You'd have to just have the best run ever. You'd have to have a... You'd have to hit the 1 in 100 coin RNG, probably. To save all the time with, uh, with coins. Then you have to do FCS after that happens. And then you have to do Impossible Jump. Then you have to get a, a good FGM. Now, what are the odds of that? Literally 0%. That's not gonna happen. I'm not convinced otherwise. In terms of, like, having the skill to replicate a good run, that, uh, that, that, that's a different story. I could definitely, uh... If there was no luck in this game, or if all the RNG aspects were, like, perfect every time, then I would have, like, a crazy time already. Probably. And no, that does not include FCS. Because FCS is not luck. Nor Swamp Clip. How did I even get hit by that, man? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I still beat the, the world record, so... I guess I, I should be happy about that, but unfortunately, just due to how I am, I'm not at all. In fact, I'm probably more annoyed that, that, that it was a world record than a freaking sub-18. Uh. Really? Went for a faster setup there to try to account for how terrible that was, but it's still gonna be pretty bad. But we all, all the time saves at the end of the run. Or no, no, not, it, no, it's not at the end of the run. It starts uh, from factory. The early game was relatively fine. Definitely could be a lot better early game, but... Early game is relatively fine. It'll be hard to beat it. Because it kind of relies on, on Swamp being good, and that's not that often. Hero bar. Really? Cool. That's like a frame perfect mistake. Literally a 60 FPS frame perfect huh? to kill the run. That, that would be me too. That is so impossibly difficult to replicate. Huh? You have a higher chance of freaking remounting huh? than that happening. Huh? And I feel like I need to like run up like against balance splits or something. These splits are so annoying. Cause like it's just gonna make it look like I'm constantly losing time all the time, but I'm not really. What are balance like? I'm just gonna assume that that, that those are fine splits to run up against. Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un I don't even know like whether or not I even need to upload that run to be honest. Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic. Do you guys think that, that like that, that's even worth uploading to the channel? Like I don't even know. 
Oh, so this. Uh -huh. I mean, I feel like I probably need to, because otherwise there's not really like a great archive for whatever that run was, but that's so freaking annoying. That was on the same run that Blaze was calling me out for how bad my factory was. <laughs> the same run. Like, how does that happen? Same run where I was playing like absolute garbage in factory. Sauter ah. sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Bro, that's like literally the perfect camera angle. Am I already clipped? I already clipped. Gosh dang it. I hate when you go so slow that it just doesn't look like anything happened. But you actually clipped? Sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit. Can I uh, clip to the wall or uh, what? That could be a possibility. Man, that is actually insane to think about, dude. And the matter of not even 24 hours. Not even 24 hours. And I have got an 1810 and an 1808. Like, how much time has even passed? And like, 18 hours or something? I did that in 18 hours. It's just so insane, dude. How am I even doing that, though? Some of the 1810 runs are like impossible, dude. Even sub 1820 runs are impossible. Sense. I've been getting river jumped literally the entire stream perfectly, so the fact that now I failed it makes sense. I'm surprised I didn't fail it earlier, to be honest. Because I like I did river jump, I did the hard river jump like how many times in a row? Like eight or nine times. I don't know how I even did that. I guess I got that DV consistency or whatever. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. I'm pretty sure the person in the chat who asked for this is uh, still here, uh, if you are at least. Pour sauter sur uh, le nénuphar, appuie sur la I looked into subtitles for the sh uh, for my stream. The trade-off is that I have to give up my like the latency of the stream or the subtitles, and I haven't really decided whether or not that's worth it or not. I think we would go from like a two-second stream delay to a 15-second stream delay, or something like that. But then you would get subtitles, so theoretically... Even if you're like Russian and only know Russian, you'd be able to like know what I'm saying. I don't know. It's worth considering. Maybe I should like just do, do a stream like that. Just see what happens. Donkey donkey. Not king. Ce soit bien clair, hein? C'est pas moi qu'on chasse. Tout 
toujours se méfier du bruit sur ce bord. I can't believe that. Oh my. What was that, dude? My angle jumping out of uh, Hunt 2 is really bad. Oh my gosh, dude. Let's lose all the time, I guess. That's at least like three seconds of time, also I'm pretty sure I should just reset. Mm, no, never mind. Now it's three seconds. Crikey, dude. Just freaking reset. Already losing time at that point. Unbelievable. Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Marcher dans l'eau ralentit la course. Ce serait plus rapide de sauter de nénuphar. Attention au rond, Shrek J'ai pas trop envie d'avoir à jouer les médecins avec toi. Vas-y, Shrek Laisse-moi t'aider En plus... Bien clair, hein? C'est pas moi qu'on chasse. Toujours se méfier du buis sur qui dort. That's how you're supposed to do it. Is it really that hard to just do that and hunt too every time? I, I, I really don't get why it's so hard for me to do that. I just have to walk like that. Out of out of spawn each time. Then I never have to worry about losing time randomly. Definitely should have died there. Oh, ces plantes là sont terribles. Mec, t'es un filou. J'aime pas la tête de ces là. I am literally gonna throw a brick at a wall, dude. What an annoying freaking trick. It's actually so insane how hard that is. It looks so easy. But it's actually just the hardest thing in the game. Oh, 
Siempre es que tú fácil. At least the ending was fine. Hopefully, if it's going to be a world record, it's a sub-18. My game crashed. L -l 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 -l. That's hilarious. <sighs> I hate everything. I just love whenever the game does whatever the hell that is. Same, dude. Best message ever sent. There it is. Well, that was the run of all time until uh, freaking mines happened. The dumbest thing I've ever seen. I didn't even know I even went for it. I, I literally, I looked at it and I was like, I'm going to definitely die when I do that. And I, and I still went for it. I don't know why. She just waited. The voice listen. Just yesterday, I got an 1810, which is four frames behind the world record, and then I just got 1808 this stream, which is the new world record. Got that by like 1.2 seconds. So. It's not sub 18 though, so we're still going, of course. Yeah, the spider actually just ruined the entire freaking run, I can't believe it. So annoying whenever that happens, because there's nothing I can do about it, though. Should have just played it extra safe, though, like I usually do. I just for some reason decided to not play it safe. Probably just because I'm just looking for the fastest possible time. Like, I'm, I'm not going to settle for anything less. And yeah, we're definitely getting closer and closer. We're cutting off seconds at a time. It was 1813, then basically 1809, now we're at 1808. I freaking hope. Otherwise, there's a lot of time wasted for no reason. The moment I get a sub-18, any percent, I think I'm just actually just done with any percent. Probably. Like, I might do it, like, like as a joke uh, a few times, and maybe I'll randomly get a world record or two by doing that, because I've done that before, but... I'm probably just actually done, because there's no way anyone will actually beat it. Uh. That's, that, that, that's kind of the thing. I don't even care who it is. Uh. No one will beat it. Uh. I don't even know if Jor could beat it. Uh. He's he's our best shot right now at beating the, the top one time. Uh. Like, he's already... He's been, like, grinding a bunch. Uh. I love this game so much. Uh. I 
I want to. I just. I want to see the sub 18. Though. I do not care about any other run. I got the 1808 and had almost no reaction at all. I don't even care. If anything, I was more annoyed that I got that. Though. I'd rather it just like we just. The, the, that same run, by the way, it could have given me a sub-18. It would have been 1758 if I got a 9 throw instead of an 8 throw. But it didn't do that. Uh. I don't even think I got a spark. I got no sparks. Yeah, I got no sparks. That's actually insane. No sparks on an actual good run. That's, what was that, dude? Yeah, either you gotta give me a sub-18 or I'm not even gonna care. Like, I'll probably, I'll, I gotta remember to, like, highlight this run still. Because, like, of course, like, and it, it's, it's a world record, we gotta put it on the boards, but... Still, man, it's just, it's just not what I'm looking for. Especially when that, like, it, oh my gosh, dude. I've had so many runs at this point, I feel like, where I could have had the sub-18. I should have already had it multiple times, and it just doesn't- it refuses to give me it, though. Like, it teases me, it gives me everything I possibly need, the full setup and everything, and then it just barely makes it not possible. Just barely. And it's always at the very end, too. Bro, I remember I, I had one run that was insane. I was like- I was sub-1750 pace going into- like, or, I think, leaving? Or, no, no, it was going into prison PIB. That happened once. I can't even believe that even happened. Like, I had I had the 1 in 100 coin RNG and everything, and FCS just didn't occur the first try, so... That run died pretty quick, unfortunately. But th it was actually insane that that even happened at all. That, that'll be, like, the best pace anyone's ever got, I think. Brain's tired. Bro, if my brain's freaking tired, I'm gonna, like, just do the run, dude. I am tired. Well, I'm tired because of a lot of reasons, but... Mainly because I woke up recently. Hopefully. Once I get that, I'm gonna freaking get back to focusing on my project I was uh, working on originally. Because I was awfully close to finishing a, a modding project of mine. And I just haven't really been able to put the time into it because of uh, speedrunning. So I'm just grinding this out until uh, until hopefully it happens, or I give up. And I don't give up, so it's gonna have to happen. Well, either that or I'm taking a massive break from everything. Assuming I even get to that point. Yeah, either the run needs to freaking happen, or I'm gonna lose my mind, so... I've had way too many runs get way too close to sub-18 without it happening. In fact, I've had- I, I mean, on, on, a, on an uncapped frame rate, I've had an 18 0 So, in other words, I was one frame off of the sub-18 for uncapped. The reason the run is not on Instagram.com is because when I recorded the video, Live Split just didn't freaking record for some reason. So, uh. Yeah. It can't even be verified for that reason, because the. The RTA is slower than the. Than that. Uh, 1813. Or 1812, yeah. Dude, I'm the most consistent person at getting hit by this cherry. I've never seen that happen so much. Huh? I'm not entirely sure what that question's supposed to insinuate, though. Or ask, though. Like... You mean, like, how does everyone feel about my Trek tier runs I do in general? Everyone's very confused by them. Because, like, the runs themselves just look suspicious. If I'm gonna be honest. I think most people would agree with that. Like, my runs quite literally look like I just freaking randomly just whipped out, like, some tasks or something and started playing it. And then just tried to play it off as if that was happening. Or I sped up my game by a small amount or something like that. 
sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche. Oh, I spliced a run, or the, or the run's not a live stream, it's like an actual, it's just a spliced video or something, I don't know. Sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle, ou faire... I think a lot of people, at least the people who are actually familiar with Shrek 2 speedrunning, just think that at this point, and I'm, I'm kind of glad that that's the general thought process because there's really no explanation for it. Other than I have a stupid amount of hours in this game, so maybe it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I've already said it, I've, I've, I've said it like a billion times at this point. I borderline said every freaking stream, I feel like. But if anyone is a cheater in this game, it's me. If anyone would be one. I am the most like, likely to be that person, basically. Marcher dans l'eau ralentit la course. Ce serait plus rapide de sauter de nénuphar en... Attention au rond, Shrek J'ai pas trop envie d'avoir à jouer les médecins avec toi yeah, Shrek 2 something for sure. Uh, watching it is even more confusing, especially if you're not too familiar with what's going on. It just looks like the most broken game of all time. <laughs> well, it, it's broken while, uh, not having too many, like, game-breaking glitches, which is weird. Like, most of the strategies in Shrek 2 don't rely heavily on, uh, on something game-breaking. It's basically just some crazy exploit. Like this jump, for example. That jump is a 30 FPS frame perfect. It doesn't look like it, but it is. It's actually two 30 FPS frame perfects. So. Plus, you have to be aligned in a really precise position. I hate everything. Sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Yeah, most of most of the stuff in this game is basically just really clever use of uh, of movement mechanics and stuff like that. Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. I thought I was moving, but I guess I wasn't. Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Any day now. Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. I still find it funny that so much of like why this game is even known even a little bit today is literally because of Karmic Koala. And from what I remember, his analysis was not even that accurate. <laughs> like, it was a good... It was good that it, that it happened. But... Like... Yeah. If I remember correctly. But the last time I've seen that video... Well, first off, I had to translate it, because I can't even freaking... I can't tell what he's saying, obviously, and... Second off, it's been, like, years ago, so maybe it was actually accurate, I just don't remember. I could have swore there was like one or two things he said that they were just blatantly wrong. Also, he didn't... I don't even think he focused on like the really particularly hard parts either. Like the, like the parts that are more interesting to analyze. Just because like he's not familiar with the run. He's just like looking at it and being like... Interesting, you know? Yeah, because the PS2 version or the game or the GC version of the game is way better than the PC version. The PC version is just objectively a bad game. No one's gonna argue that. It's just it's quite literally just a bad game. While the while the the GC version of it's actually pretty good. 
or the console version is really good. At least in my opinion, I thought it was really enjoyable, personally. But that could also be because it's 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 like using Shrek 2 assets and stuff like that, but making it actually good, you know? Like, that could be the reason I like it. So, my opinion's probably pretty biased in that regard. What? That's not even true, though. What do you mean? <laughs> I probably have to disagree with that. I don't think that's true. I think Shrek 2 for the PC has way more stupid stuff going on. Even the Game Boy version of Shrek 2, I think, is more of a meme than in the console version. Maybe it's because like the game looks more polished. Uh. So that is why he said that. The console version of Shrek 2 is definitely more polished than the PC version. I mean, I'm not even saying that like the PC version of Shrek 2 is bad. Well, I mean, it is bad, but... <laughs> like, in terms of, like, its movement uh, that, that you have and whatnot, the movement is what makes Shrek 2 for the PC actually enjoyable, in my opinion. It's a very, uh, it, it, I don't know about very complex. It's a pretty complex movement set that that you're given. Dynamic, I think. A dynamic movement set, I think, is the best way of wording it. Because there's just so many ways you can move. Like, the fact that, like, you have to, like, re uh... Try to reduce the amount of times you you land because the more lands you do, the more time you lose. Or how double jump and triple jump timings work. How animations work in this game and how they can slow you down or speed you up. Like the the way that you have to enter cutscenes. Like there there's so much movement tech going on, man. And then you have jumps like that. Random 30 FPS, double 30 FPS frame perfects uh, all of a sudden. It's actually insane how easy that looks. Uh. Like, people look at, at that river jump and they're like, that is the easiest thing I've ever seen. And then they try to do it and they're like, wait a second, this is like not possible hardly. <laughs> because they don't realize that it's uh, two 30 FPS frame perfects. Uh. Run officially sucks. Oh my. It'd be cool if I could like, actually do that in a room. That'd be interesting. What happened though? Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle. Ouf. <sighs> Oh, man. Am I even gonna get a third run to FCS? Or, I mean, a fourth run? The third run! Dude, I can't even believe that. That's so stupid. Uh. The first run to FCS uh, just didn't even work hardly at all. Like, it, that was like a literal, like, what was it, plus two minutes? Uh? And then the second run to FCS was plus 32 seconds. I only died twice, huh? I think. Uh. And then the third run, I actually got it first try. Like, I think I got all my bad luck out of the way for it or something for today's stream. Although, that probably means... That uh, probably means it's not gonna work now. Like, you typically only have it work first try per day. Uh, once per day. What kind of game would you like to speedrun in the future? I can't really speedrun any other game competitively because I just... I don't have the... 
I can't really, like really deal with it due to my carpal tunnel I have in both my hands. The only reason I even do Shrek 2 at all is just because like I'm already incredibly used to it. Uh. So why not speedrun it? Uh? I would speedrun a lot of other games uh, if I was physically allowed to, but I'm not really like. Even this, like this looks simple, but in reality, like the amount of pain I have to go through just to do this kind of thing is actually insane. That's why I don't do it that often. That's why I'm like typically modding and stuff like that, because that's not as taxing. Uh. Well, it actually, it's just not even physically taxing. It really isn't. Uh. That's why what I'm saying, if I do get a sub-18, I'm just actually just done running. For right now. At least, at a serious level. Like, we're- like, currently we're at that point where I'm playing it daily. I'm grinding it out daily, practicing all the time, whenever I can. Doing full runs as much as I can. That is literally what I'm doing every day. Or at least I'm trying to. Whenever I have the chance. Of course, work. When when work calls, I gotta freaking do whatever, but. Aside from that. So I'm really hoping that I can get this out of the way quicker. Hmm. Track 2.2. Don't believe me, people have been talking about it. I'll say- as, here is as, here's as much as I'll say publicly. I've already said this before, by the way, so it's really nothing- it's no- nothing new. Track 2.2 is on my to-do list of modding projects. On the pro- on the to-do list, there are three projects. One of them is GY2, it's the second one coming up. Track 2.2 is the third one coming up, and then the first one coming up is something I can't discuss publicly. So, in essence, I'm going to finish the secret project first. GUI 2 will be worked on at that point. I already have like 60 hours in terms of mapping that. It, GUI 2 is a map, by the way. It's getting Ogre at 2. I'm going to be using like all my modding knowledge I, I know of to make that the most... In, uh, my best map I've ever made. And then I will be working on Shrek 2.2, at which point I'm... I, I've talked about making it like a public slash uh, community project, a CCO project of some sort. Oh, actually, I guess, I guess not, uh, not... Not CCO, uh... But a project in which the community would be able to assist on, because I kind of want to let the entire community know what I'm actually doing. Whenever I'm developing 2.2. I know that, like, the videos were released, like, what is it, three years ago or something insane? I'm doing it for fun, whenever I can. It's a hobby. How are the runs? Uh, I got an 18.08 world record. But it should have been a sub- it should have been sub-18. So, in other words, I'm not happy with it, but it is a world record by one second. And then just yesterday, I got an 18.10, which is four frames off world record. So. Being strangely consistent. Yeah, the, the scope of Shrek 2.2 back uh, whenever it was being made is way different than it is now. Like, I've since become, like, a programmer. I know how to program in Shrek 2. So now I gotta use that knowledge to, like, make it actually good. The, uh, the, the level editor was not a thing back when Shrek 2.2 was announced to be, like, in the works. Huh. Well, that's a new one. Can't say I've ever just seen the timer just refuse to move. How did this happen? <laughs> How is it stuck moving? Huh? What the? Possibly be happening, right? Hold on. Hold this program to see if anything's happening. Oh, nice! Okay, there we go. Finally broke the auto splitter. Let's go! I broke it. We can make a screenshot of that.
No. No. Don't tell me life split just crash, dude. Did life split really just crash? Oh, it didn't crash. Let's go. I thought for a second it actually crashed. Save the splits. <laughs> I thought for a second I was going to lose my 1808 splits. Trek 2 is built with uh, Unreal Engine 2. From my experience, modding is fun, but it's hard, especially on these types of games with no pre-existing open source. Yeah, exactly. I had to, I had to teach myself, uh... I had to teach myself everything when it came to modding this game. In terms of knowledgeable Shrek 2 modders, I am the most knowledgeable by far, I guarantee you. We could bet money on it. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Yeah, modern Unity is so freaking easy. You literally just open the assembly file, you can just decompile it and do whatever you want at that point, basically. Actually, like free you the mod. And then you have UE any well UE four and five, which uh, are not easy to mod at all. Uh, my knowledge. Marcher dans l'eau ralentit la course. Ce serait plus rapide de sauter de nénuphar. Attention, orange Shrek. But UE one through three are relatively not that impossible to mod. The thing is that Unreal Engine one through three were they were. Those engines were developed with modding in mind. Which is incredibly good. It's why we can do so much without having to decompile the game. Like I, I didn't I did not decompile anything to get all the all these like modding tools I made to work. They're just using completely legal methods of modding, and it just happens to work. By a miracle, basically. And it works perfectly, isn't it? There's the only- there's like a few restrictions. They're pretty minor restrictions as far as I'm concerned. Because you still have most access to the- to the game, but... Yeah. I mean, you definitely have enough access to make basically whatever game you want. I'd say. As long as you know what you're doing. So I'm pretty sure I know why the, the auto splitter like broke there. By the way, because there is a there's a I, I theorize that there's a really rare exception with the auto splitter where it could just break like it did there, like where the timer just completely freezes and everything breaks. Huh? I need to figure out a system to try to make that happen less if possible. Does it have any logs? Uh, well, whenever it broke, it did, yeah. It just it just said uh, it returned to basically uh, object is null, so therefore we don't know what to do. Because your code is basically saying, oh, well, we need to do something with it, and we can't. Unfortunately, uh, the auto splitter, which is written in .asl, it has a, it has a, it has a, its pros and cons. One of its pro or one of its cons uh, is that it doesn't really have a great way of checking whether or not something is null. Like you can't just simply, even though it's derived from C sharp, you can't just simply check it. You can't just do a is it equal to null? Nope, you can't do that. You have to do a freaking is it equal to zero, and then even then it's not like entirely consistent under some circumstances. Yeah, not really. 
La victoire jamais pas fait. If it returns null, then you're basically just boned. So you gotta make sure it does not do that. Too. I already have a lot of null checks uh, in my uh, in my code. The reason that null happens, by the way, is because the pointers that we have... Well, actually, not even that, necessarily. It's due to the nature of UE2. Where it does... It, it, it likes to have pointers just point to null during certain things, like loading a level. So we have to account for it returning null, and then we have to account for any random exceptions on top of that. The only, uh, only, yeah, basically the only way to do a null check, uh, I hate my life, huh? is you have to do, is, uh, is the current in the old value of this memory pointer uh, not equal to zero, and if it is, then it's not null. Um, or you do a try catch. Huh? That's the only two ways you can do it. It's actually so goofy. And a try catch doesn't even make much sense in the context of that anyway, so... I have, I've been advised that doing an, uh, a check for whether or not it's equal to zero, if it's true for null, is probably just the best way of doing it. So. Uh, I've just done that for right now. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Marchez dans l'eau ralenti. Oh, so I can't believe I just lost a run to gas skip. What a freaking L. That should have not been a, a run loss. But hey, it's a really hard triple jump. What do you get to do? It's really hard. I'm very consistent at it, but I guess not that time. En plus, Shrek s'en sort très bien. <laughs> well, you see there, that's what we did. <laughs> that is how it, we originally were doing it, and we were dealing with consistency issues. The pro of .asl, or ASL in general, is that it is consistent. It's not like... You're not, like, doing any additional overhead, really, to calculate whether or not something should be happening, huh? So it's way more accurate, uh, than, uh, than a DLL. To be fair, the only DLLs that have been made have been with C-sharp, though, so that would be an issue. Because running C-sharp and C-sharp is probably not the best uh, idea. Even if he ran C++, though, I don't even know if that would be enough. Huh? Just because of how live split is. It's all handled through live split anyway. If you were gonna do anything, though, you probably should do it through C++. And even then, though, it's gonna be very annoying to maintain. Because that's kind of an issue we had with, uh, with the DLL one. I've only recently uh, rewritten it all in ASL, so if there's any like, basically if there's any bugs, then I'm working on fixing them. And because it's an ASL, it's pretty maintainable. Because all I have to do is just modify like one file, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Doesn't take long at all for me to make a change to it, uh, or debug something, or test something. Compiling is like, automatic. I'm pretty sure it's, like, interpreted or something. Well, it's in, it's interpreted slash compiled, because I think it does compile via something it interprets. I think, huh? That could be wrong, by the way, but, you know, that's how it works. In, uh, in ASL's uh, case. Ah! This run is so bad, okay, thank goodness. I gotta say, this run is so freaking bad. It just freaking hurries that. <laughs> Dieu. 
Pour sauter sur le menu phare, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm lucky we're gonna get a fourth attempt at FCS, unfortunately. But I, I, I'm fine with that, to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie. If, if, as long as I get three FCS attempts uh, in a three hour stream, I, I'm fine with that. It's already hard enough as it is to get any decent runs there. I mean, to be, I guess to be fair, the first two were like. The first one was a no reset, but I don't even care. I think, I think it still call or still counts. Huh? Ce serait plus rapide de sauter de nénuphar en... Attention au rond, Shrek J'ai pas trop envie d'avoir à jouer les médecins avec toi. La voilà, cette pot... What I swear I scroll. Am I going nuts Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout... Basically, what I think uh, happened whenever the auto slitter just broke there, by the way. My, like, the null check happens. And then, um... Then it runs the function to get, uh, to get a, like... To run a deep pointer to get, like, a value for something. It runs that. But for some reason, uh, it actually is null whenever that runs, and that is why it would occur. And then at that point, I think it just breaks everything. Pretty sure. Because the moment it returns null by accident, then everything breaks. Huh? Which is ironic, considering we're also, um... We have we have to have a check in there to check whether or not it is null or not, because if it is, if it is null, then we know that that a load is happening, uh, for a fact. That's not gonna work. Yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is that the, the pros and cons of ASL, like, the pros very much outweigh the cons of the original stuff. Definitely worth it at the moment to stick with ASL. It just simply works better in this case. Not to mention that because of ASL, we can overwrite the game time, which is something we need. And if you're confused by that, uh, this game has an in-game timer uh, for every single level. We can take the relative amount, uh, like, we, 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 we can take the delta uh, from that, uh, and then make that equal the current game time for life split. If you did a DLL, you would not be able to do that. Which doesn't work. Uh, like, we're, we have to have that as, as an option. Appuie sur la touche control, ou fait un clic droit, tout en courant en avant. That's also why the timer lags, by the way, on the left. Every time it, like, lags is whenever the game's lagging because the value for the time is, like, stopping or something. For any various reason. But, uh, it, of course, it's constantly getting processed as to what the value should be, so it's a lot more accurate than what any possible generic load remover would do. This is, like, the ultimate load remover. Am I ever gonna gold carriage hijack? I don't think so. I would love to think that one day I'm gonna randomly gold it, but I don't think I will. I'm very surprised I didn't hit a mushroom there. That's not gonna work. Not the right position. Pour sauter sur le nénuphar, appuie sur la touche contrôle ou fais un clic droit tout en courant en avant. Marcher dans l'eau ralentit la course. Ce serait plus rapide de sauter de nénuphar en... Attention au rond, Shrek J'ai pas trop envie d'avoir à jouer les médecins avec toi. C'est bandit Shrek Laisse-moi t'aider Dieu uh -huh. En plus, Shrek s'en sort très... Yeah. 
Surely I'll get River Gem this time, right? There we go. Got the 230 FPS frame perfects. I was gonna have a try catch, by the way, but I don't know. According to what I've heard, you're not supposed to do a try catch in an ASL. But the thing is, is like in my head. If you do a try catch, then there is no possible case where that error that I just had could happen. It can't happen. It's impossible. That makes me wonder if I should just do it. Even though everyone says you should not do it. The fact is that if the freaking auto split breaks, it's just gonna. It, like, it kills the entire run instantly. Well, I used to do a try catch. Huh? I was advised to not do it, huh? so then I replaced it with the uh, with the not equal to zero thing huh, that I was talking about, huh? which nearly does the same thing, but I don't think it's actually uh, reliable. I think I have to do a try catch anyway. Because, like, it literally handles the exception so that it doesn't break everything into a billion pieces. Maybe I should just see how often it breaks, to be honest. Like, maybe, maybe I'm just, like, overthinking it, you know? Like, it's not a big deal. Borderline freaking gold. Don't hit this thing like a moron. Thank you. Encore des pièces. Je vais pouvoir m'offrir un copieux repas de sardines. Oh, it's not a gold, man. I thought. I thought for a second it was actually at a gold. Just barely not fast enough. Huh? Oh, that's the freaking land you want right there. That's not the. I bonked on the freaking box collision! I hate. I freaking hate. What was the mapper who decided that the freaking tables need box collision? Oh my gosh, dude. Or the freaking. What are they even called? The chairs. The benches? Yeah, the benches. Oh my gosh. Run is even worse than it was before now. I'm bruh. That was only the worst thing that could have possibly happened. Oh, only just, just the worst factory ever. Like, I know why the freaking benches have box collision. The reason they have that is because otherwise the freaking, uh, the elves will stand on top of them. I'm not even kidding. But, like, they'll step up onto it, uh, and then for some reason their AI breaks. Like, something in their controller breaks. 
the fundamentals of them in, as a whole. I didn't miss something? <laughs> I miss something. Ça s'appelle mordre la poussière. Such a bad run. <laughs> Well, if I'm randomly gonna clutch up on an impossible jump, then I guess, yeah. He, dude, he goes far. That's like one of my favorite parts of the run. It's the freaking leap of faith. Falling for like I saw like four seconds, it feels like. Pretty cool part of the run. Bonk. Yeah, this wouldn't be the first time where uh, I would randomly get a get a PB or something after being plus eight off world record though. It's happened before multiple times. Would not be my first time. I remember once I was like plus fifteen and then I got a world record by like like ten seconds or something insane though. Or maybe it was by five seconds, I don't remember. Cause like the FGM was just that good. It was insane. Like that was the same run where I just got I just got like the best FGM ever. Yeah, we don't even we don't even fight PIB mate. No! Oh my gosh! Okay, well now the run's definitely dead. <laughs> Why did he buy a freeze pot, you moron? <laughs> I should've just continued. Damn it. How did I do that? Why? That was so stupid, dude. I literally know what I'm supposed to buy there. Annoying. If the run uses the, or if your map uses the death kit, I'm gonna have to wait until another time to try it. Mainly because you have to provide all the different files. By the way, Mirror, that's one reason I want to freaking redo the death kit. Because anytime you want to freaking make a quick mod to like a map, you have to provide the map file. Plus, you have to provide all of the INT scripts for it. All of the cutscene files have to be provided. 
Otherwise, it doesn't freaking work. Huh? Oh, yeah. That's one thing I do not like about the dev cut at all. Don't you freaking dare. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Suck my wiener. That was so freaking brain dead, dude. It just, it, it worked. I got the hardest part of the trick and the potion just didn't even go in the wall. That time for some reason. And that time it just didn't even work. Okay. Okay, but did you use the dev kit? That's all, that's all I have to know. Because if you did, then you have to provide it anyway. Because they're all modified because the freaking map is so different uh, from the original. Unless you just made a direct mod to the original map file. Oh, you piece. Okay, I almost just lost her out there. Let's go. This is probably my last run of the day, so I'm just going to continue, guys. This is a no reset officially. Whatever. Do a no reset for fun. And then I'll, uh, I'll play Mirror's map, uh, see what's happening there, and then I'll end stream. We had a, 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 the stream went surprisingly better than I was expecting, though, to be honest. I don't know how I got the 1808. That was random. It not have been 18, it should have just been 17. Or whatever. I'll work on uploading that to the channel, probably. Even though it's a one second PV. Or technically more like a... Like a... It's a 1.3 second PV. Whatever. Je les retiens. Sortez de là tous les deux. See if we can at least get a sub nineteen. Yeah. Uh, probably not. Probably not a sub nineteen. A sub nineteen thirty. Oh wow, dude. One frame. I just lost to a frame. Oh my god. Shrek, don't you dare tell me you have the bug. You better not have the bug. Oh, okay, never mind. There's a bug exclusive to Shrek Human where if he looks like, like, if when he lands every single uh, time it looks like he's doing a, like, exiting a jump attack, then there's a chance that you got, like, the super rare bug where the game just constantly thinks you're doing a jump attack. And if you get it, then you're running it's instantly dead. Because there's no fix for it. You just have to restart the entire game and delete the save. Nothing you can possibly do. I could even persist across saves once it happens. So, whatever the logic for that is, I'm not sure why that happens. I'm not even sure of me stopping there with a little bit. Let's go. Got the cool jump. The 1930 is still very much doable, though. Dude, imagine trying to do this at a marathon run, then. Do an FCS at a marathon. That would be so insane if it actually happened. Your run estimate would have to be like 35 minutes, probably, at a minimum. Because so much can go wrong. Hilarious. Didn't get the 360 FPS frame perfects in a row, guys. Whatever will I do. Oh, 
Tu as le temps pour un café Ça me fendrait le cœur que tu partes déjà. Ah ah si quelqu'un m'appelle Joli Cœur, j'en fais une crêpe. Uh, ok, I don't know. I was not feeling that camera angle at all. Un gros morceau de pain d'épices énervé en vue. Armez les catapultes, les bombes allaient au rempart. Tout de suite, il est énorme. C'est parti. Quels sont nos ordres? The power I've already had in the love potion, though. If you already have the love potion, then you get a. If you, you won't lose too much time. You won't get a 311, 310, or whatever. I mean, the prison strike was still played terribly anyway, but I'm saying because of the, because of the fact I had love potion, I didn't lose much. Much as I thought I would. Again, with the earliest possible. That's probably good gold. That's low key. That 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 will just gold. That was so unbelievably fast. What was that, man? Oh, well, my game lag spike there. Maybe, maybe I won't do it now. Uh -oh. That has to be it. Yeah. Okay. That was just freaking absurdly fast. What was that? <laughs> I just say 0.3 seconds. <laughs> That's the fastest anyone's ever going to beat Castle Siege ever. No one is going to beat that. Huh? What was that, man? I'm pretty sure I was like frames away from dying uh, twice. Huh? No fast FGM because I can't do it anymore for some reason. So I'm not practicing it either, so I guess there's that. Uh... Yes, yeah, so 1930, and I'll be happy. I'm not even gonna pick up the clover. I don't even want. I'm, I'm not doing that. I have a superstitious theory that, like, if you just don't pick up the clover, then you purposely get bad RNG. And if you just play up him enough without picking up the clover, then the moment you do pick up the clover, you get like better RNG. I, I, I have no idea why, why I think like that. But I just do. So anytime I'm like on a crazy run, I always pick up the clover, when I know I'm gonna need it, you know? <laughs> it's such a stupid, such a stupid thing I do. It does literally nothing, there's like, there's no difference. The amount of sparks I'm gonna get here is probably a lot, imagine. I imagine because uh, I have not been getting sparks much at all this stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna continue doing that. I mean, I like playing custom maps. I think they're interesting. I, did, I tried doing segmented a long, long time ago. I'd wait for 60 FPS to develop more. Huh? Seven sparks, oh boy. We're not even gonna get the sub-1930 now. Need two turns, hilarious. Eight. Nine. Ten. Most of my sparks ever seen to run, by the way, is 17, so... Like, I never quartered run, though. No, this is not gonna be that, unfortunately. Okay. Well, that's a little bit lame. GG. Sub 20. That was the run of all time. <laughs> At no point in the run was I saving time. <laughs> A little bit funny. 
FGM Donkey, and then... And then Prison PIB, yeah. And then FGM. Those are the three places I lost time. Everywhere else is fine. Like, everywhere else would have been considered world record pace. Yeah, cool. Let's see what's going on with Mirror's map, though. J'adore la chasse, ça va être grandiose. Mais ils sont où tous? Bonne question. Is this gonna be like all of Hunt? I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not playing the cutscene now. Oh, also, here, let me. I'm gonna route the audio for me so I can actually hear, uh, hear the game. Because that's probably gonna be important. Wait, I just. Oh, I'm a moron. I just freaking. I can't freaking hear the game. Heck. Oh, I'm a moron. I didn't. Hold on. Freaking, I gotta route it again. Hold on. I'm really good at audio routing, as you can tell. There we go. Now I can hear it. Cut off. Now I can actually hear the game. Play with hybrid did you? I should probably just. I'm on the mid-in config, so it'll be fine. <laughs> I guess we're gonna be listening to this all in French, so. I hope you got it down for that. <laughs> French. Interesting. So the lighting in this map. Is pretty interesting. I don't know where the uh this trigger is. What the heck is it? Did you remove the music trigger? There's no way you remove the music trigger. I know that there's a music trigger somewhere around here. What is that? No, it's like... It actually did. Uh, what? Okay. Whatever. I, I, I guess we're not going to be listening to music. Whatever. We, who, who freaking needs music? The Hunt 4 track? Well, it's not the, not the original one. It's referencing the Death Kit one, probably. Oh, if I, if I can get that one bug, then I could, like, have it play music, but I can't. Uh, hmm. How do I get to freaking play music, huh? I mean, I could, I could modify the map's file to do it. Because it's not referencing the right, uh, song, unfortunately. Hold on. I gotta fix this, huh? Gosh, hold on. <laughs> this one, yeah. I gotta freaking modify this guy's map in real time. Yeah, okay, it, it's referencing a dev kit, right? So, this is. Bruh. <laughs> so, it, it is a dev kit map. So it's probably, but but the cutscene played. So it's like, like okay. Other than that, that that should be fine, right? C'était quoi ça? J'ai entendu un truc. Wrong? Did I do it wrong? <gasps> Am I stupid? Am I actually just stupid? I'm so confused. Dude, I cannot get it to freaking play the music. Dude. Oh my gosh, this freaking guy did. We're we're never gonna get the music for the for the freaking thing to work. Gosh dang it, dude. Is there any other way I can get this to work? Huh? You know what? I'm gonna do the most scuffed method I know of. Wait, did I do it wrong? I might have just referenced the wrong one. 
I did! Freaking moron. Hold on, guys. I'm a freaking moron. What happened? Shrek? C'est toi, mec? Well, I know I did it right that time. Hold on. Gosh dang it. I probably gotta do it like this. Do this. Take this. And I modify it. I've done this before. I know I have. Does it just not work unless you freaking set it or something? Or what? I'm so confused. Yeah, it's like you have to statically assign it. I, whatever. What? Bro, okay. I think it's better without the music, but okay. You sure? Freaking, I'll do it. Hold on, I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. You guys gotta listen to this. Here we go. And music. Uh. <laughs> definitely didn't. Uh, I'm not definitely not playing it over the game or anything. Nope, not doing that at all. Oh. Uh, you know what? Actually, here, I'll leave it. I'll, I'll leave it here. How slow can I possibly play this map? How much can I stall for content? This is an in this is a very interesting concept. There's no barriers, I think. No, there is barrier. What the heck? Okay. This is an interesting concept. The fact that you, you like when you whenever you like run across it, it uh like does this is pretty cool. PIV. I'm not here, PIV. Don't, don't worry about it, man. I'm, I'm doing fine. This is an interesting concept. I wonder if this is the uh, this is probably the entire hunt map, if I had to guess. It looks like it. I wonder if it... Okay. Interesting lighting here, but okay. Sure. A fence here, right? Yo, a fence here actually makes a lot more sense when you think about it. Like, is it, has no one even thought about that? I, I, I probably would have... Dude, I don't even know if I would have thought about this. But it just it just dawned on me that this makes a lot of sense. Like, of course there should be a freaking fence here. Right? Especially because, like, like, you don't want to, like, incentivize someone to, like, go down there, you know? Get a freaking waterfall over there, mate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, actually. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Puts you on the little tiny hay bale, breaks your entire fall, you know, Shrek the Emerging. What in the world? I did not notice that there was a cherry tree there. That's a cool way to end that off. Huh? That looks way better than something I would have done. Well, it actually does it. The, okay, the, okay. Actually, I remember doing this before. Well, no, I didn't do it before. Honey did this. I've never, I've never tried to have my own take on that, but that is a pretty good take on that. I really like the lighting here, for some reason. Like, it, it doesn't make sense, but it doesn't need to make sense, you know? My map is good? Oh. I don't know, we're gonna see, man. I typically get pretty raw opinions, so I will warn you about that, so... <laughs> just, just be ready for the worst. Queen stack instead of two coins. I kind of dig it. I probably would have put one back here to incentivize uh, looking around secret areas because I, I I love secret areas a lot. But uh, I think it's route broke. I don't know. I don't know what the. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> that might have just been a Shrek two moment to be honest. The rock under that. Okay. Okay. This is probably an overall improvement having this here, I would say. We didn't fix the clipping here! <laughs> is the barrier here removed? Nope, still here, huh? 
This barrier could definitely be better. Like, it, it, it's, the, it's the stock barrier, so I'm not really surprised. I was never a fan of it, though. Because, like, what do you get a gain out of going over there anyway? Now, this seems something... Okay. I have had my take on this before. I put it here with the fence over here and something like... It was something like that, though. I think I prefer it being over here. I think I actually would have preferred the cherry tree being over there than over here. Like, just, just flip these two around. I think it would be better. But I, it, but it is cool seeing this here. Can you, can you stay on top of this? And oh my gosh. Dude, there's no smoke coming out of this. This is my, minus one, dude. <laughs> okay, no log here. I don't know what to think about that necessarily, but it, it's fine. This I'm a fan of. I, I, I like this being here. Excuse me. Uh, huh? <laughs> what was that all about, man? It should have smoke. Oh well, if you're using dev, you're probably using dev kit smoke. The smoke effect is uh, at least in dev kit maps. It references uh, something related in there. So since I'm on the raw, or the original version, I, I won't see that. Whatever. But you would normally see that. Okay, box collision for that. Not a fan of that. Using this as a map for the tent is a really cool idea. Never would have thought about that. That, that. That's just like a smart idea overall. Wait a minute, I... Okay, yeah, I, I was about to say, if that peasant actually navigated there, I would have been very surprised. Peasants have a lot of trouble navigating uh, around stuff like this. You would have had to very deliberately set it up for this to even have a chance of working. Even then, I don't even know if it's possible. I want to see if this is possible. I did. You know it's possible. I know it's possible, dude. I know it is. Okay, whatever. I'm not even going to mess with that. I I'm pretty sure it's possible to do that. I would probably sink this more in the ground. Though. But that is uh, interesting. Doing this is probably more interesting than what was originally set up, though. It's just like it's not intuitive to like walk over, unfortunately. I don't know what to think about this here being here, to be honest. Especially with the fence being there. This, I feel like that this makes the map a little bit more cluttered than, than it should be. It's not like over there where it's like against like a wall. Like you can move that freaking over here and it'd probably look better. I kind of dig in the sky color. This sky is derived from Hamlet, I'm pretty pretty certain. Is that really what this tree looks like when it's scaled up? I would have never thought to use this this tree model right here, uh, ever. Uh. Or that one. Uh. Is that really just scaled up? There, wait, there's two. Am I going crazy? Okay, that's also really cool. I think you you definitely put a second tree on top of the tree, right? There's no way that actually looks like that. Oh, I see, dude. That's actually kind of creative, though. I would have never thought about that. Huh? Maybe it does make sense. I don't know. I actually don't know. When you say it like that, it makes a lot more sense. Huh? Oh, this jump's not possible in 60, I forgot. I'd rather just go up there. <laughs> and now we're in hunt two. Let's go. But I kind of want to. I kind of want to like see like wh like wh wh what's really going on. So it's not a combination uh, maps, but. You, I mean, you definitely s sold the illusion that uh, that there's actually like a more map uh, because you put like the ball up there and you put a uh, put the bounce pad up here. Just because of that existing, it makes it seem like it's actually there, you know, but it's not. I guess I'll like ghost around. I can't really free cam. Well, actually, you know what? I can. I don't. There's there's no reason for me not to. Oh 
my gosh, I can't type. Put my swamp map too. I mean, you can provide it if you want. I'll, I'll do it. Why not? Dude, with the way that you're doing this, by the way, really makes me think that. I don't know, man. I just find it interesting how you, how you did this. This gives me some like 2.2 kind of vibes, you know? Where you literally took a map and improved it. Because th this overall is a direct improvement to the original map. I'll say that. It's literally an upgrade. Now, I think it can be better, obviously, but it's literally an upgrade. Shading there? No, I'm just going crazy. But there's nothing up here. Interesting. You even added the button? Okay. Bounce pad here. Uh, and you didn't even include the... Like, this is just a model for it. It's not, not even the original bounce pad. That's why there's no particles, but that's also good for performance. That's what you would normally do. If you're going to do that. Clearly, there were some optimizations that you made here. This really reminds me of No Wonder Optimizing, in a sense. Like, some things are not No Wonder Optimized, like this and that. Minus one. Where's the other? Where's the other stake at? Il était une fois dans un pays lointain, lointain, un ogre sympathique et une magnifique princesse. Un beau jour, l'ogre et la demoiselle se rencontrent. Yeah, I should. I, I don't know. People have asked for a tutorial for Jorskit for a while. I just haven't done it. It's not really something I could just simply answer. It's a. It's a pretty complicated trick. Lan, nous revoilà. Déjà. Nom d'un bonhomme en bois, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé ici Ce qui s'est passé Je vais te dire moi ce qui s'est passé. Il s'est passé des tas de trucs bizarres. Voilà ce qui s'est passé. Non mais tu te rends compte Les soldats s'en prennent encore aux créatures enchantées. Tu le crois ça Il faut que tu arraches cette affiche, Shrek. Mec, il faut qu'on... This is a very interesting lighting setup. Des pièces qui flottent de partout. On va carrément en avoir besoin. I, th I, I, I think that, that's like a death kit thing. Y'en a même dans les caisses Vise un peu ça Quand tu sautes sur ces délicieux Cool Tu rebondis Y'a même des barres de vitamines qui se baladent dans les airs Mais elles font quoi oh. ici Ça a un coup de crotal et ça vaut qu'un que... Mais... Yeah, this is... Ouais, parfaitement Truck Swamp is one of the most broken maps, by the way, so it doesn't make... It, it makes sense that this is happening. The cutscene should finish, huh? I'm very interested in this specifically, Mirror, because I have a lot of experience with redoing Swamp. As you probably know from, uh, well, yeah. I don't know, that one project, uh, 2.2? I don't know. What if anyone can even understand what, what, what he's saying? Bad he's speaking French. I can't understand French, and ah, everyone else here is probably not gonna understand yeah, either. No. Wait, you actually do understand French? What the hell? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was literally just in the middle of talking about why no one could probably understand it. No. Okay. That tutorial's there. This tutorial's not here. Interesting. Why would you remove the tutorial? That's interesting. So this tree is still here. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's it's the original. So I could I could clip through. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, you buffed the jumps. Okay. 
Now, here's one thing I will say, okay? It's never brought up how you're supposed to double jump in the game, so this is... It. In terms of, like, you give this, this map to someone brand new to the game, this would be bad, but... Also, it's good. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I would want to do this. I would just have to make sure that the player knows how to double jump before doing this, you know? Reduce the wall back there? Dude. The way the map looks is so odd. Like, it... I mean, the way that, that Shrek Swamp looks in the first place is already odd. This is an interesting take on it, though. So you have to double jump. You literally have to. There's no way you can do it. Oh, you did not do that. You did this. Oh, that. Okay, yeah, there's there's anti-portals, so it's gonna freaking... Uh, interesting. Or oh, there's freaking peasants! What the hell? <laughs> Why are there peasants over here? <laughs> What's happening, man? <laughs> Can I still do my original thing here? No, it's patched! <laughs> you can stand on that? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to rush it, man. Did freaking Mirror set up Collision for this deliberately? Did he freaking do that? For real? Uh? No way. Uh. I think he might have deliberately set up Collision just so you can stand on that to some extent. What in the world happened here? Uh? <laughs> I don't know what in the world happened here. This is <laughs> The bushes are solid too. Oh goodness. All of them are solid. Send help. <laughs> Except for the- why is this- this one's not solid, but the other ones are. Okay, I don't know what happened here, but okay. <laughs> Bridge closed. <laughs> Bridge closed. You can still, like, jump up here, I assume. This actually looks like it's smooth, so it's probably easier. It definitely is smooth, because you can't land in that same spot. Like, pineapple on pizza. If you- The only case where I- okay, first off, why, uh, why is it solid? Um, I like pineapple on pizza if the pineapples are taken off after it uh, after the pizza's cooked. The reason for it is that I hate the texture of pineapples, but I like the taste of pineapple. That, that that's kind of my reasoning. Resting. You change the height of uh, these logs. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm going crazy. Like one of them is slightly different. Solid bush, but this is solid in the original map. Tree right there. That is a good touch. Yeah. Walk up here now pretty easily. No. No. Little what? Oh yeah, there's no way you fix this, right? Yeah, actually. No. It I do I do know it's kinda possible to fix this auto gem, by the way. Hey man, sleep good. The terrain change. Interesting. So the terrain here is leveled differently. This is not leveled differently right here. You can tell because you saw the stupid bug right here. Purple guy. His name's Mirror. Uh. I think overall it looks better there. You walk up this? No, you can't. Uh, okay, so he removed the ability to walk up. Well, no, you can walk up this, though. Whatever. Okay, dude. The sky looks derived from Hamlet. If it's not hit from Hamlet, it's very much derived from it. Uh. Gonna skip that, I don't really care. You slanted the bridge differently. Okay, oh. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what is that all about, man? 
Oh, what is that? Dude, Shrek 2 moment right there. What is that? I guess you'd have to do manual collision there. That's actually stupid. You'd have to do that. Well, the fact these are slanted definitely makes this a little bit more interesting. Unfortunately, now we have this issue where uh, you can't walk up and down properly, but... I, g I get the general idea. A fence here is a good touch. Actually good. Actually, a f a two fences here is pretty good. However, I think I probably would have applied a fence over there with this with the logic that we'd apply a fence here. What? This is solid. <laughs> okay. Clearly there's an issue with uh, some solid things in this map. Is this extended though? This is definitely extended though. Is it? No, no. No, it was... rounded differently. Uh, this used to be all grassy. That seems to be fixed to an extent. No, it's still the original crates, yeah. You move the cuts in here? Really? Okay. This one's here, okay. Not what I wanted to do. Uh, that brush is still unlit. That could be fixed. You see, Mirror, you see that platform right there, like, where, where, where the shamrock is? That's made with a brush. Uh, the developer set B unlit equals true on the surfaces of that brush when it should not be. That's definitely something I would change instantly. This sun ray doesn't... well, I don't know. The, the ray of light, I'm not sure, makes sense in the context of how bright the map is. I think I'd probably remove all of them. Dude, this is some cool freaking lighting right here. How it goes from like like a, a kind of like a, a maroon red to like a magical blue of some sort, and then a combination of the two. You put a money bag here. Oh my gosh. Oh, are you serious? Again, dude. I can't catch a break with being one coin off of mere slot machines. It's always one coin off. Every time. I do not know what to think about this at all. I have no idea what to think about that. I guess I'm going back to hit the slot machine. Oh, what happened here? <laughs> Early. Mm. You had to do like that one thing that one guy did like a long time ago. I can't even use this, but it's a god potion, so I guess we'll take it. <laughs> He'll say it like a hundred more times. What? I think he wanted this to be be a potion you could pick up, and I don't know if he knows if you can do that, but you can. There, there's a pickup specifically for every potion in the game. Oh, there's still chickens. I prefer a cat or a dog. I feel like I'm being like ask like uh, I don't. Mm. I'm definitely a cat person. Don't know how to fix the potion. Well, it looks like this is like a model or something, right? Like a static mesh? It's considered a pickup, uh, or there, there's a pickup for it. Uh. My bitrate died. Oh, well, I guess the quality of the stream is going to be uh, low. Awesome, dude. Well, I think the most obvious thing is that the, po or the lever is uh, floating and it doesn't need to be floating in this context. I'm pretty sure a lever can clip through terrain, right? <laughs> Chicken stuck moment. It can't be a pickup, though. It's not rotating, huh?
Détruis ces planches pour prendre le trèfle à quatre feuilles. D'habitude, il faut explorer. J'ai de la chance. Ah. This is something I would have never thought about. Huh? Nice, he kind of fixed this a little bit. I have literally no idea what the status of that is. Soft like found. Then help! Then help! What? Freaking mirror. Why is there a soft lock there? These chairs have a bad set collision, so that's why I'm stepping up like that. It's interesting that you put Fiona here. I don't know if it really makes sense. I don't I don't know, but it is a cool idea. They're floating. <laughs> Magical. This is a cool idea, having this up here. Kind of gives me some better swamp vibes, to be honest. But it's more like an actual secret area where you have to work to get to it. I'm a massive fan of that. Um, adding this up here is definitely, uh... It's one of two options you can take, but this is a good option. Or a good thing to do overall. Regarde, Shrek! Un drive-in marraine! Ils y vendent des potions magiques et tout le tout team! Ça pousse comme des champignons! T'as vu la pub à la télé? Come on over to FGM Potions and Notions. <laughs> No music now. Oh, what the what? The, the, the cutscene's there. <laughs> no, because uh, because Mira added that money bag, there's uh, there's potential to actually buy a potion. He could buy a potion or possibly use a slot machine. One of the two. Did you patch this? Did you patch this? No, I'm just dead. <laughs> well, you kind of did, because that because thing is solid now. Gosh dang it. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh. I don't, dude. This freaking mirror guy. Mirror, you give me a lot of vibes of you're the exact kind of person who would actually want to like help mapping for 2.2. You're literally giving you're giving me those vibes so freaking much. Like, what is that, man? You don't have polish, but you have the creativity. I'll tell you that. And the polish is just, that's just going to come over time, so. Like, I don't know, man. There's a lot of good concepts going on. Like, you're, I mean. Like, dang. At least in my opinion, there's a lot of, a lot of good concepts. So. Mirror, do you know how long you you spent on this uh, or not? Nah? Oh, or on, I guess on either of these. Most <laughs> random questions ever. You're wearing socks right now. I don't know, man. Am I? Hmm. Well, I mean, the way I see it, it's either I'm wearing, uh, I'm wearing socks with shoes, or I'm not wearing anything like that. So. Is that a week or so? I'm not even sure what just happened there. J'aime pas la nature. Nature et Anne qui parlent ne font pas bon ménage. Just see me from all the way up here. 
the world? <laughs> I don't even know what that was. I'm not wearing shoes right now. Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm just saying the the concepts in these maps are interesting for sure. Like, mirror the vibes that that this gives me is uh, this is probably how I would be mapping. If uh, if we were back in 2019, we had mapping tools, and. Uh, well, actually, there's a, there's a, there's a, it's about as simple as that. Never mind. <laughs> That's would be something I'd be trying to do, for sure. If it was back then. Now, of course, the concept of modding has been like gra gr drastically changed. Yeah, yeah. Cool stuff, man. Now, now, freaking Mira, I feel like if I, like, the moment I do start working on 2.2, I'm gonna have to, like, hit you up, though. See, see what's good. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I don't even know if he'd even be down for something like that, but I don't know. I think it depends on a lot of different factors. Is this patched? This kind of looks a little bit... Oh, oh, it's almost patched. Oh, it is patched! Gosh, dude. It's probably patched because of high after detail. Are you for real? What is that supposed to mean, dude? <laughs> what do you what what type of response is that? <laughs> Uh. Look, I mean, the thing is, like, 2.2 is, like, it's gonna be a collaborative effort with as many people as I can possibly get in touch with. I'm not saying, like, oh, you make the whole map. It'd be everyone is working on it at once, you know, and whatever happens, happens, you know. I'm just saying, you've got stuff. I'm just saying, bro. Hell yeah. 100%. Here, here, I'm, I'll, here, I'll freaking, I'm gonna do this. I, I, I genuinely think, cause it's like, it's not easy to do that, so. Like the stuff that you're doing necessarily. It's not of, it's not of an expert map. It, 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 it's not, it's not quite up to the expert level, I would say, but you're definitely not a freaking beginner anymore. That's a, as far as I'm concerned, you're not. Uh, not with freaking maps like that. So. <sighs> Did that freaking makes that that reminds me? Like Mirror actually posted a bunch of maps before. I never played them. I should play them, look. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Mirror would think of that. <laughs> I don't even know if I even can do him, to be honest. That'd be funny. Because I know he posted a bunch of maps before, and I never played them, because I freaking got busy. Yeah, I already did it. It's already, it's already been done. For sure, dude. I, th I I personally think I qualifies for it, huh? for various reasons. Huh? Like I I get like the criteria is develop a good map, but I think it is a good map. Huh? Spe uh, specifically the hunt one one because that that in my opinion is a direct upgrade uh, to hunt one. So therefore, it's good. Huh? I don't know about Shrek Swamp. I we're really on the edge for that one. Like Shrek Swamp has a lot of cool things. It's clearly a lot less polished, but it wasn't bad. I thought I thought it had a lot of cool concepts. Huh? But the the Hunt one one's definitely better. Nah, I'm definitely not the best streamer. I'll tell you that. 
Okay, where is it? I ever yeah, I'm gonna I'm downloading it, I don't care. Let's see. <laughs> I'm sure well if it requires a depth kit I can't use it, but <gasps> Mirrors about to be like, no 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 stop stop stop. <laughs> That's probably what he's gonna be like. <laughs> What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Why? Because I, I I never really got the chance to check out any of these, see what's like happening, you know? Rain info. Why are you stuck? No, not. There's no barriers in the map, I assume. More than likely not. Whoa. I jump huh? I jumped over him. Huh? How did I how did I manage to do that? <laughs> how did I do it then? Dude, you did the thing with the coin! Bro! You literally did the master thing. I can't believe that dude. That is 100 percent something I would have done. You can clearly see here. The freaking the beginning of it for sure. The beginning of trying to get to where he is at this point. Oh, cool, dude. Is there anything else? No. Or if there is, then it's like out of bounds. Like I, I swear, did I not see something over here? You're going nuts. Huh? There is no what the. <laughs> oh, cool, dude. Dude, I wish I could have made this as one of my first maps. What is- Mayor, isn't this technically your first map you ever made? I think it technically is. Uh. This gives me- this gives me, uh, like, those freaking vibes of, uh... What would you say? Like, my first map, dude. Dude, my freaking- hold on. Do they even have my first map anymore? Does he even even know? Where did that even go, uh? I don't even think I have it. Like, I probably lost my first map I ever made. Okay, but a box map doesn't freaking count, in my opinion. Where it all began, dude. This map is a freaking miracle, by the way. This this is like the first uh, ever kind of developed map. What was that? Did you just see that? Shrek just broke in front of me, dude. Why is the game in French? Because I was speedrunning. So I just never changed the directory. You see what I mean though, Mirror, with these freaking coin placements? Your coin placements and mine seem very similar. I probably had more of an emphasis on secret areas though than you. But that's about it. Yeah, like, like, look like that! Like, look at that, dude. I, I swear, I, I swear I don't remember this map. Like this random freaking There's a poster up here. <sighs> What's up? Je dirais pas non à quelques pièces. Pour le lavomatique. Me beginner scripter. Yeah, I think technically it counts. Technically, I don't know. It's kind of a borderline. Because modifying one would also be considered potentially making one, so I don't know. I'll just give it to you for right now, and I might change my mind later, who knows. Was it Russian before? I mean, I guess so. Oh yeah, isn't there like an, ear an area? Yeah, there is! Uh... 
secret area, but it requires console commands to get to. How did I even make this area? Some random area. What a map, dude. Oh my gosh, no way. I got a hero bar. This is the first time I ever made custom collision right here. You cannot normally stand in these. But I custom mapped out the collision in the editor. Uh, so that it's like perfect. No. Well, I say that and then I proceed to walk through a handle, but that's... <laughs> but still... Fantastico and <laughs> Oh, mate. Never know what like weird custom maps you're gonna find then. No map I wish I could freaking beat in a hundred percent in a full like in a one sitting is Factory by Carpi. Because that freaking map, dude. I don't know if any of you in the chat have played Factory by Carpi, but holy, I never got the showcases on my channel, unfortunately. And it's such an old map now. Like we're talking, it was made back in late 2021. Literally, it's in my opinion, it's probably the best map that that the game has to offer. Apparently. Like, there, there, there's a lot of experimental stuff and a lot of, like, various optimizations and issues with it. But the idea of that map is insane. Let me add this other map. Uh. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, I'm kind of modifying my directory at this point. I don't think I'm going to remember to freaking do this stuff. It requires a little bit more assets than I would like, but eh. What's oh, this map? But it's like... Oh, crikey! <laughs> Immediately starting off with a freaking ambush of bandits, dude. Holy. I remember giving, like, uh, I was like, I think I, like, helped in this app in some way. I don't remember how I did it, but I did. All in the water. Oh wait, I didn't even give you beginner modder, did I? I'm I'm stupid. Forgot. Huh. Yeah. yeah, that's probably what I that sounds a alright. Even though this still isn't really that, but you did add a light here. And you might have had another light there. Oh yeah, yeah, you definitely did. Based on how strike looks, there's just not enough though. Alt sign is cool. Does this alt sign ever appear in the game? Like a custom sign? I don't even know. Okay. Now we're getting into the area with the freaking light. Holy. There's actual lighting now. Yeah. Dude, there's so many freaking... I like this. Hmm? How many freaking mushrooms there are. Uh, the terrain is a little bit... I, I mean, I get it's like a village area, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit flat, but still. Any variance in that is big. Old signs from Carpi? Carpi? Huh. Interesting. Oh yeah, he released a static mesh pack, I remember that. Whoa, okay, the collision on that is freaking abysmal. That's not your own fault, that's just... You have to manually... Oh yeah. That would be annoying to fix. Hey, my mother. Missing a hand! 
Oh, okay. Vision on almost everything. Okay, this, for a freaking fact, is not only in the game. This is from the console version of the game. And then I think this is, this might also be card-based, I'm not sure. This is the bug sign, isn't it? Kind of is. It's supposed to be transparent down here, but it's not for some reason. Well, that donkey's following him. There's a pickaxe in the tree. <laughs> That's a cool idea, putting this here. Too bad that this model here is really broken overall. It could probably be made better. To, it it could probably it could probably be made better in the editor natively than whatever software they used to make that model. I don't know why that was so impossible for me to say. Top ten challenge. Okay. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Dude, I remember the day I saw this. It's like, it's such a goofy model, but I love it. And now you get to see it here. <laughs> There's nothing else. Gosh dang it. Lighting this map is definitely a step up from the previous map. And now I feel bad that I never got to play this one. Dude, this has a vibe. Got a vibe, that's for sure. Have to quit the game just to install this. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, well, the music not, might not work anyway. Il était une fois dans un pays lointain, lointain, un ogre sympathique et une magnifique princesse. Un beau jour, l'ogre. Most up to date. There's still no music. Okay. Probably on two music since I kind of. Yeah, it's fine in this case. Huh. This is a reskin, though. I'm actually surprised that the reskin here even works remotely. Pretty sick. Oh my gosh, it has my emitter! That's a W right there. I see my emitter. These leaves. Fun fact, I actually made this emitter, uh, It was supposed to be in the game originally, I'm almost positive. But they never did that. So, I added it in. It's awesome seeing that. You gotta admit, though, it looks so cool seeing the freaking leaves, dude. How did I punch? What, what was the... why? What's your stuff, like, going on over here? What is this? Right arrow. I mean, there was coins there, so I suppose that's what it was pointing to. Collision, please.
The map said it had secrets, which is a little bit concerning. I don't know how far he would go with that. They am dead. <laughs> what the heck is the secret even at? Up there? Wait, oh, right here. Oh my god. Dude, the, the freaking, the... The leaves blow are solid. The flowers. Let's go! <laughs> Save donkey! It's really behind here? Holy. Wait, you can't even. Uh, you kinda can. There's no shot, it's actually back here. Shrek it out! <laughs> <laughs> you would normally never find that. That's so funny. Shrek it out, dude. This guy's gonna be Shrek it out. Hold on. I even go. Okay, that's screwed now. Shrek it out. That's a that's a prequel to Hamlet. Okay. Interesting. So I should have been playing Hamlet then. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I can't play the Hunt Tier remake. That's good done. The Hunt Tier remake requires a death kit, which I don't have time to do right now. And then I assume that, that, that that's all. Well, there. Wait, there's there's creepy map. What is a creepy map all of? <laughs> <laughs> Creepy map. I can't play the Hunter remake. Creepy map. Creepy map. Creepy map. <laughs> nice soft lock, dude. <laughs> Can't even go in there. This is one of those like liminal spaces. <laughs> Not a fan of those actually. Is there anything else in this map? Yeah, it does. You can hear it. Oh, okay, whatever. I, I was gonna... Uh, whatever, okay. I, just, I don't know how that took an additional hour of me streaming, but sure. Sure thing, man. Look at the map! Uh, I don't know when I'll stream. I cannot, and it will not, guarantee anything. Because that's just not really possible for me. I got an 1808 though, so I guess we'll take that. Huh? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's no proper way for me to end the stream other than that, so.